Uh, sorry, wrong button. <laughs> you said clap. <coughs> Thank you for watching That's another episode, episode of the Pop, Pop Punk Pizza, Pizza Party. Party. Pop, <laughs> Pop, Pop Punk Pizza, Pizza Party podcast. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Brennan, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I gotta say, I already love this dude. <laughs> so, that is fucking awesome. <laughs> are we? Do we have a sponsor for something that we don't even have? We don't have the stuff for yet, yet, but yes. they are sponsoring us. We have the code. We have the code. <laughs> Yes. yes. This is the only thing those notes were we'll for. We'll start. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Let me ask him. So we have the code. Yes, we do. Okay. See, now, now I know we have the code. Now I know. So if you go to w.com and then w. <laughs> it's it's dot slash dot org dot edu and you, you uh, enter the promo code pop punk af on the line. Yeah, on the you line. can follow the link on the Facebook page. I can't even. I'm Justin. <laughs> uh, and I have a I'm shadow. shadow. <laughs> Is it a shadow or an echo? Or a delay? You have your own delay pedal. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> it's almost spot on, though. <laughs> He's not falling for that. I don't know how... <laughs> I Brandon. Brandon. I don't know how you're so you good at nacho this. salad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is just going to be the whole show. Okay, I'm done. For an oh, hour I'm and a half. I'm fucking crying, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. All right, where were we? Sorry, I had to make the only part of Justin <sighs> talking being fun. <laughs> hey, <at some> point, <laughs> this is the Pop Punk Pizza Party <laughs> Podcast, brought to you by The Barn and BetterHelp and Fired and Deep Space Studios and also oh, he, W. He sounds so upset. He sounds so I'm Justin. sad about it. Like, <laughs> yeah. God. I'm Justin. Guys, say your fucking names. God damn. Your fucking <laughs> names. God damn. Uh, then I'm also Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I am a CHRS. <laughs> I'm Keith. I am, I am BRDN. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the next oh, draft, man. or not the next draft, but after like many months of this, if we ever make it to that, we've got to do a draft of guests. And Brendan, you're my pick. <laughs> <laughs> so much, I am honored, and I just been here a minute. Oh, it's been a fucking sometimes that's all it takes. Great minute. Hey, it's been a fucking minute. It's been a, the best minute of his that. life, dude. I'm <laughs> laughing so hard, I'm sweating. I am like, too. Actually, I'm I'm honored. Thank on you very fire much. Right now. <laughs> am I loud enough? Am I loud enough? Because I hear oh, you quieter than everybody else. You're well. You won't be oh, quieter yeah. than me, but gra- you are great. No, you're you're good. Oh, thank we, you. We should just keep you muted. No, man. I don't. I don't know about that. So, Brendan. <sighs> yes, Keith. It's weird calling you by your real name. I know you're not used to it. Uh, but uh. What do, you, what do you call him? Brennan. Brennan. B-R- yeah, we've always called him Brennan. Actually, Justin just, just learned that? the other day that <clears throat> his real name is Brendan and not Brennan. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... But I've I always called him Brenny Bear, so... I mean, from the past examples from I've seen from you tricking him with calling him for so long, <laughs> I'm sure he'll believe just about anything, so <laughs> I'm not surprised about that. <clears throat> How long did that go for? How long did that go Oh, for? that was at least six months. Oh, my the God. Is. I wouldn't say six months. Oh, it, it was, Justin. Well, this went pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it was about what? six How months. How long you known me for what? years, and you thought my yeah. name was Brennan the entire time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Still had vowels, but it was still the wrong <laughs> So, Brennan, what's been going on? Oh, my God, <clears throat> dude. I've been working. I've been going on my second year of university i'm a sophomore uh been designing software and hardware for the last three years working on some products because i make a lot of music stuff um producing uh lucas's stuff who you just had on the podcast i think that's skyline's limit skyline's limit thank you i've been producing his new album right now super juicy stuff so uh you should be on the lookout for that in the near future and i probably won't I know you won't. I won't look forward to anything that you do or say in the next fucking hour and a half, Justin. Justin, we're in the same band. Like, what? Are you, don't do that to me, too. <laughs> For three minutes in a fucking Todd, you ever thought about leaving him? Wasted, dog. I can't go solo because I can't sing. But you could... 
you can find others. Yeah, I can find others. <laughs> but continuing though, I've been producing, uh, producing, <clears throat> producing, <laughs> producing Lucas's stuff for the last eight or nine months or so, and um, sound pretty good right now. We have probably five songs just about finished, ready to go live. If one of those hasn't already, and we have another six to do, I believe. You guys oh, were nice. You guys were building your studio mm. too, weren't you? Um, we're in the build, uh, process of building mine right now. But him just moved into his new house. Him he just did. Him just did. <laughs> him just did. <laughs> him just did. He um, has plans to build his own. So maybe he's going to start producing his own stuff. But his stuff that he's doing right now sounds good. Very pop punk, um, lovey dovey type beat. You know what I'm saying? You should yeah. produce our stuff. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Me and Todd. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, name <clears throat> one of the seven things that you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I am doing like seven things, for real. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> man. I'm fucking busy, man. This yeah. one's called The Roast of Justice. <laughs> Jesus. Eight bands. He's in four podcasts here at the barn. This is one of them. Yeah. <laughs> man. <laughs> Overly laughs at things that aren't really all that funny, but he just thinks they are. <laughs> I think everything's funny, man. And then a minute before <laughs> podcasting, he just puts a cigar in his mouth and puts fucking sunglasses inside a goddamn house for some reason. For I don't the know. fun of it. For the fun of it. <laughs> I have like, a lot of fun. You look like M Shadows from A7X. If you actually, yeah. that, it, was, that was the look back in middle school. <laughs> I, I didn't finish it is. what I was saying. It was the look back in middle school. No. Uh, no, nah, it, it, uh, it was ruined when I was interrupted. Keith, thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> did I ruin? Did I interrupt you? You did. I, I was, no, I didn't. You no? Know? No, because he said something. <laughs> you said you look like that guy, and, and then he said something, and then I said that's a compliment. Okay, I'm so sorry. I didn't interrupt you. I'm so sorry, Keith. You Thank don't deserve you. that. Thank you. Justin, Appreciate on the it. other hand. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No. So, um, shit. Keep going on what you've been doing. I don't know if you were done. You started on him again. <laughs> yeah, you do like seven things too. So yeah, let's get to it. I know. We, this is the. I don't this know. I don't know. You guys have been tallying up for what eight episodes now? This is probably the 80th Justin Fest that has interrupted a guest. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, to continue what I was saying. Go ahead. Um, no, I've been uh, primarily been doing a lot of developing with software and hardware. Uh, I have a little small company called Dane Audio Products, and next to producing music. I also make MIDI controllers, uh, MIDI over USB, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and I also make software that um, is specialized for music and stage performances. So nice. a lot of stuff like backing tracks, uh, synchronized light performances, and stuff like that. How? First of all, you knew you got to talk a lot <laughs> after the show. The second, how'd we, you get? We can and, talk now. Well, how, I, I, I've been like. <laughs> We're on a podcast. How'd you get on? In, well, <laughs> yeah, but how'd you get into all of that? Oh, uh, 2008 is when I began uh, programming. Sorry. Began. Began. I began. He be began. I began. I begun. I love that one the best. Yeah. Begun yeah, is it, It's past tense. Sounds medieval. Medieval. Medi is that medieval. like a medieval? <laughs> Dog. Have you seen the medieval medieval? <laughs> medieval medieval? Medieval. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what are we talking about right now? No. You said 2008. 2008, thank you. 2008 I began programming um for a lot of people I'm about to speak just gibberish, but the language I started with was batch, which is like command prompt just programming. So I would make like small scripts that would just print words to a command prompt to a screen and just said and it would ask the user for you know choices like press one to do this press two to do this and when i began doing that kind of a uh thing i was kind of amazed because i was just like wow i can make the computer essentially do whatever i want so uh in 2009 i um my favorite for context my favorite video game in the world is deus x the first one it was released in march of 2000 um the game engine that it was made on Unreal Engine 1, I was wanting to um, make my own mods and make my own characters and stuff. So I looked into it and I was like, okay, I need to learn this other programming language. So I had colleagues that were able to s help me learn the programming language for about three or four months. Uh, then fast forward about another 10 years, I've learned it, I've made the mods and such. And then I realized, okay, there's a bigger language that the engine was made on. So that was C++, which is arguably the most famous um, high-end programming language. So 
I did, I didn't know how to make my own programs, like just standalone programs. I was still making stuff in Deus Ex. So, but I knew C++ and um, well, I learned it for a couple years. And then what I decided to do was um, try to make music software within Deus Ex because I didn't know how to make the standalone programs. So I made a program called um, MidiCure, which is unreleased, but all it does is you load sound files and you play them. That's all you do, and you can control it with like a little MIDI controller foot pedal. And I saw, I thought it was weird because I made it within a gaming engine, I made it within a game, and just like a game that has music capabilities. That's weird. So fast forward another five years after that, I finally learned how to make my own standalone programs. So. In between all this time, I'm learning how to do hardware. So I don't know if you're uh, familiar with like Arduinos or Raspberry Pis or stuff like that. Yes? No? Maybe so? Uh, absolutely not. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were interested in talking to me. I thought I was talking to another nerd, but I have well, been. I'm. De- de- he's an see, old nerd. I'm an inter. I'm interested. Like oh, yes. Okay. Okay. I want to. I'm just. I'm at like the bottom. I'm like C minus minus. I'll teach you my ways, <laughs> Padawan. Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, so let me go back to layman's terms here so that way you understand <laughs> me more. So I made all this crap, right? Yeah. Learned like since crap. 2008, so that's 15, 15 years. years. Yeah. yeah, math. Math is awesome. Got a C minus in my last math class, all right? Well, you Ooh. made up for it. Hell yeah. Language-y. I just did addition in my head. That's where I do mine. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. Same place. Same so place. I did all that. I use my finger still. So for what? Yeah, we were talking about math, Justin. Oh, yeah. god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found the area of a circle. The Eighty-one. Day. I was pretty, pretty proud of that. <laughs> Eighty-one. Fucking hell. So 81. you didn't go to college for any of this? Um, no. Prior to being uh, starting college in October of twenty-one, I'm all self-taught. Um, awesome. And I'm using that skills to. Take the small business that I have, make a bunch of controllers, make a bunch of software, hardware. I'm working on some really great stuff that I, I can probably mention here because this sounds rude, but I don't think the right people would be listening to this for me to no. talk about it. So that'd be they cool. Be. So I'll talk about that <laughs> later because I don't want to throw all the tech jargon on it now because I got a whole bunch of lists here. I got a, ooh, got some stuff I want to talk it off my motherfucking chest. Well, you got something off there already. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> sixth grade sixth grade is when I started all oh, this, God. to answer your question. Okay, cool. And I like learning, and it's not just limited to technology. When, you, were, when were you in the sixth grade? <laughs> what? He's younger than I am. <laughs> when were you in the sixth grade? Before the seventh. In 2008. Oh, God. Okay. I know. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Nice. Oh, you're a young guy. 27. What'd you graduate? 05, Todd? Yeah, I, I, I was in, in well, I was in sixth grade yeah. in ni- 1998. <laughs> well, we were talking. Well, you all were talking about. I think the last week or the week before that, someone or another was the baby of the Alan. podcast. It's me tonight. It is you. Tonight. Wait, how old are you? I'm 27. 27. 27. Oh yeah, he's a year younger than me. Yeah, not much of a baby, but no. relative to the other, I guess, skeletons in the room, I would probably say. Wow. That. Yeah, I was looking at you when I said. I know, that. but I'm actually <laughs> younger than these two. I know. <laughs> you fooled me. But anyway, that's what I do. That's my background. I think we just got ripped on, Todd. No, y'all look good. (laughs) 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 Um, But no, that's what I do. And uh, that's my specialties is um, college dude. I like technology. And uh, I do music. I'm primarily a drummer. I'm the drummer of this guy's band. Best fucking drummer in the area. Now, that is something that I will let you go on about. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, I th- appreciate it, brother. Yeah, it's definitely good. my favorite drummer in the area. Thank you, thank you. And even uh, though you hate me, that's all right though. I didn't say hate. So you just now you're. God damn it! Now you're assuming, Justin. Is this, <laughs> is this who you are? Is this your fucking personality? Pretty man? much, yeah. <laughs> every week, every Wednesday. I'm so sorry. <laughs> every single week. <laughs> whose ideas was this actually? Because I know you run 86 podcasts, but whose idea was this one? It was my idea to of do a podcast <laughs> with Todd, and then we didn't make that work out. Then me and Keith did one. Okay. Or it had the idea of doing one and uh we brought todd in because todd and i had originally talked about it before me and keith and so the three of us came together we asked so, chris to be a sponsor chris just ended up being a good fit for the show so basically they can't one, yeah. get anything done without me I'd i say, came yeah. up with the name uh, i just want to point that, that out I mean, that's fine but i'm just saying it didn't <laughs> get rolling was, i mean it was my idea it was my idea <laughs> oh it wasn't <laughs> hey, it wasn't my hey, idea hold on hold on hold on, hold on. Uh, this is the pizza party podcast Pop i think it's punk. not possible pizza without party me podcast. without the yeah pizza, that's true yeah, also would... brennan you were gonna do your um live test my yeah. live test 
Of the pizza. Of the pizza. Oh, yeah, that's Todd, right. you didn't even eat any, man. Oh, it's cold now. No, no it's because fine. you guys oh, ate without good. me and then, like, <laughs> didn't say anything about it. No. Go get it. I, I, told, I, I told Justin to tell you. Look. Did he not? Look. No, he did not. You, didn't uh, tell you know me what? I'll bring it up here. I'll bring it up here. Yeah, please do. Can you bring me a slice, peasant? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but so this will be the only four minutes that Justin doesn't get ripped on. <laughs> Hopefully, it's no. the four minutes that he doesn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me enjoy a moment. Rip the lid off for him. In peace. Eh. So, uh, Mr. Fired, please uh, specify what's this week's special, sir? Uh, what is that one? I the, can't see it. Uh, um, it oh, has... so that is uh, the bacon queso pulled pork pizza. That it's, one was my favorite. Yeah, oh, it's got wow. uh, it's got bacon queso. Uh, house made. Bacon. It's got uh, okay. house smoked pulled pork, and oh. then it's got Kansas City style barbecue sauce, candied jalapenos from Casey's Cooking. Wow. And mozzarella. Good shit, dude. My God, yeah, I've heard Wait a, a lot about your guys's pizza for a few years now, huh. and I am very honored to try it. So it, that that is uh, <laughs> that has been cooked twice now because I had to reheat oh, it for the podcast. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Like, so I, it's not I, really like the same quality, but. I, I, it's pizza. It'll be good. With food, I'm very easy to please, and pizza more specifically, it's my favorite dish as far as dinner goes. So Same. cold. Well, we're all here. Cold, <laughs> warm, hot, it doesn't matter. So here we go. Am I the first to review it on the line? In the moment. Yeah, I think so. Here we yeah, go. I mean, I think Nikki wow. did for a brief minute, but we had already yeah. talked about the pizza. Pay attention, y'all. Here we go. Are you ready to hear this? <laughs> <laughs> I know what that sounds like. Without even looking at it, I know what that sounds like. Oh, man. Mmm. Is there barbecue sauce on this? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's got dude. a Kansas City barbecue sauce uh, drizzle on it. KC. It's the best part. Well, I like Carolina as well, but that's more of a mustard base. Yeah. KC is the best. best. Man, that's amazing. Everything homemade, the, the dough. and Oh, everything. yeah. My God, man. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Oh, it's lovely, man. I don't make my own cheese, but you know. Uh, okay, never mind. Should. Zero out of ten on yeah, the Yeah, no, it fucking sucks, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it just completely fucking sucks. Before, and before we move forward, Justin. Yeah. You actually have to delete things off your phone because when your storage is filled up, I can't record things. Is it not doing it? No, because your storage is filled up. Oh, hey, hold up. Give me a minute. You want to know something else? <laughs> and he's got two phones. I don't think you're recording here either. Oh, what's this one doing here? Good thing we got that one, I hope. We're recording. <laughs> we did three cameras. Be- oh, no. See? So this one keep. What the fudge, monkey? Oh, my goodness. That's weird. That just happened for this episode. It did <laughs> happen the last episode, too, for whatever. We, we're on a good roll. And that's a shame because we're not getting that pizza eating on camera. Because it's. Uh, <laughs> no, we got it on that camera. Uh, Brennan's. Uh, he's, he's getting into it over there. Yeah, I know. Oh, I mean, oh he's still yeah. got to try the hot for teacher. Mm. Yeah. It's. Um, did that did that phone record a little bit? They've all been recording, but for some reason, like we'll it'll just stop. Oh. So like last week, this stopped at 19 minutes, and I have no idea why. Uh. Like it just stopped here. Like it just and but why is it recording now? Yeah, but it looks like it's going to be recording for only a minute 36. Why? Well, it says the time that it's recording on yeah. the left and on the right. It yeah. looks like max time huh it says minute 36 i wonder if i have the same mission just did. <laughs> hey todd you know you got to delete stuff off your phone <laughs> <laughs> i thought i did but you know what upgrade your storages guys come on uh no i get a bit better I'm video you on that cloud life keith yeah i'm on yeah. that cloud life right. family well, share hey, i don't know that. like terabytes listen okay here's what i need every viewer to do get to back. back we need to start making money so let's get rich so i can Afford more storage. Yeah. So I can record on my cell phone. I hear you. I got 11 bucks in my you, bank account you right now, y'all. Know a, oh, you know a cell phone guy that Yeah, I can totally hook you up for a good deal. <laughs> hey, here we go. Anthony, Is that deal free? Hey, listen. Anthony Arthur <laughs> fired. Please give me the Anthony rundown Arthur. on the next Hot for Teacher b- b- pizza. Yeah, that's the hot for teacher. So that's our uh, signature fire pizza, which is usually uh, like our, our homemade red sauce, mozzarella, Havarti. Provolone, crushed red pepper, and hot honey, oh. but that one gets uh, cream cheese and bacon added to it. What? I like that one. <laughs> if you've never had cream cheese on a pizza, you're about to. Is that what to. this is? Oh, yes. yeah. Cream cheese is the best. Yep. It's better hot, but it's still very cream, It's still warm. Is it? Yeah. Oh, good. Cream cheese on a pizza. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's my ultimate good? favorite yeah. topping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chris introduced me to this and like... Same. It's amazing. I've turned so many people onto that in the county that we sell a ton of it. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Man, obviously you're onto something here, yeah? 
Is this is this so. recording finally? Yes, well, it's, it's, this yeah, is, I got it back up. This is like the second or third time it's been recorded. I, okay. I deleted the other stuff. Though. Well, not, right, go ahead and give that a good takes, bite. But I took the, the old all stuff. All the CP is finally off of his phone. <laughs> what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what that means. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I, I, you know what? I just... <laughs> it just clicked. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's pretty sus that you're playing dumb like you don't know. <laughs> I said it clicked now. Gosh. Mm, exactly what that person was saying. No, I just don't use that term very often. Sus. Mm. So hopefully, if you're our viewers, you will be viewing either one of three <laughs> or, or, one, or three camera angles. If there's no camera angles, you can go view our merch store. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I forgot we had one. We do. We so do you were talking one. about buying stuff and like merch would be cool. So long, Chris. Yeah, I've had it for like well done. Forever. You like that one? Well, my favorite. So you're now a fan of cream cheese on a pizza? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I really like that pulled pork one. Well, that one's always so as the good. The kids say but... it slaps. Oh, I'm gonna have to keep this box next to me, bro. Oh, keep it, dude. <laughs> so <laughs> we get pizza every week. You can have yeah. all you want. I, that's what I've heard. It's like I'll come. I'll be guest every week. Apparently, I'm gonna get like five pounds of it. So, so uh, yeah, uh, not everyone it. knows this, but we always keep cream cheese. Like we change our specials out every week. So we do two different. We have like your build your own. Uh, you know, on the menu of like eight different toppings, and then we uh, we change out two specials every week. So this week, those were the two specials, but. I don't have it on the menu, but we always have cream cheese. So we do like four different pizzas with cream cheese, and we can do most of those pizzas all the time, even if they're not on the menu. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can always get cream cheese. Like our everything roni, it's a pepperoni pizza with that cream was cheese my introduction. And, uh, everything bagel seasoning. Wow. We always tell first timers to get that, and they always come back and mm -hmm. rebuy on that one. Oh. But we always have the stuff to do that. Wow. Well, you just gained a new customer, my friend. Well done. Yeah, well dude. Well done to you all. Seriously. Yeah, love it. Best pizza in the area, both sides of Mississippi. Absolutely. And you want to know another thing, Keith? Huh. I'm glad that we're not in the middle of a fucking podcast because you're on your phone, you fucking teenager. What are you doing? I, pull, <laughs> I was pulling up the polls. Oh, okay. from the page. I'm sorry, he was sitting on his polls. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't. That you don't have Facebook anymore because you got hacked. You lost access to the Cinema Stories page, you and then too. you just delete. Yeah, they deleted us all because of you. <laughs> Me? What the <laughs> hell did I do? They hacked your page. <laughs> So now, now he doesn't have it anymore. Can't you just program it back? I'll hack it back. Hack it back. I'll hack it back. I'm in. I'm in. So I was going to see what Brent, because he doesn't have Facebook, I was going to see how he'd vote on these polls. Yeah, that's, I probably, that if it's sense. on social media in general, I probably won't do it, because I also, I still got my Instagram and my Snapchat, but I uninstalled the apps because I don't like social media. I just got to go through Yeah, he really hates it. Media sucks. <laughs> Echo this is Chamber. why we haven't talked in forever. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's why, Justin. That's <laughs> Hang on. Do you, do you have a phone? Uh, no. No? No, I do. It's right here. Okay, but because I know Justin has, like, multiple phones. <laughs> so he's two. just like, I can't I talk phones. to you because you don't have Facebook, but yet the man has two phones, so he can text you or call you. Yeah, I don't have his phone number. Phone. Yeah, six He doesn't like me. He doesn't trust me with He his only number. uses <laughs> WhatsApp. Yes, I use, I, well, mm. no, I use WhatsApp. I do regular texting. Oh, do you? I have international friends that use WhatsApp. My lady uses WhatsApp primarily because she's from Puerto Rico. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. So, and she has friends in Germany as well. But on top of that, yeah, I uninstalled social media. I'm just kind of like a texty text kind of a guy. And um, just, I don't know if I get any of your texts. That's why you're so productive, I imagine. Because I don't have yeah. your number. Because yeah. I don't have distractions, yeah. man. And a lot of people say, like, oh, it's harmless. So, you know, I enjoy it. It makes me happy. Yeah, but. How many hours do people fucking waste just scrolling away? And the well, next I'm, thing you know, it's yeah. been. What, I've limited my time to only promoting this podcast for the most part. That's interesting you say that because <laughs> I. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? Because I know what's coming. I've, I've known you for <laughs> so long. That if you say that's interesting and you make that face, it's going to be. It's well, going to be. I was actually being serious. I was talking about like this <clears throat> issue that we have with social media. You and got it, me. This big distraction and the, the way that the apps are purposely made to keep you engaged and on the note that you were talking about Justin mm -hmm. it made it spark to my head that I did not really know when I was asking for your opinion <laughs> there it is see I knew it was, <laughs> I, was coming. <laughs> I told you <laughs> oh, yeah but so maybe uh, you can figure help me figure out why it's doing it's this. out of storage <laughs> I just deleted. A, it's you should not even close you deleted it like, did you delete it out of the trash bin yeah 
And did you restart your? Phone? To, I was gonna go say, to gallery, I turn it off and on again. Did, did yeah, it say it was out of storage. Cash that out. No, it just when you started recording, it said it had only oh. two, like two minutes twenty five seconds to record. Go so to the you, gallery. You said he yeah. deleted a lot, but you probably deleted like twenty five. No, he put videos. it in the trash bin. and That's it. Oh, no, no, it's not. Yet. So, Brittany, did you watch yeah, that dude. movie? I think what it's the fuck is called the, trash the bin? Social I've Network. I've never had a trash. Not the not the one about Facebook. The trash. other one that's like how oh, it's bad. Yeah, see, so you deleted like everything, a, but like it's still a on your documentary. Phone. It's kind of like that, but it's like a like a real kind of thing. It's, it's, like a, it's, it's like a couple take a dudes minutes. and they got screens behind them, and then they go to like different. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, they're trying to like make your pocket ring and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as soon as that's done, so then you will actually be. Is that a documentary? Something like I think you would call it a documentary. I don't know. This is now a tech support podcast. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we'll keep talking, but um. But as far as the movie goes, have you seen the movie? Was uh with I saw the movie and that was kind of like. Excuse me? With Jesse Eisenberg. Well, I've seen that one. That's not the one I'm referring to. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, I know that's not the one. The I, Facebook. The Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. I, I haven't seen the documentary that you're talking about, mm. but that made me think about the movie with Jesse Eisenberg. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great, um, great uh, soundtrack <coughs> by two of my favorite musicians in the world and composers, Trent Reznor I don't and remember Max doing Ross. It. I wasn't done talking. <laughs> <laughs> So fucking sassy, dude. <laughs> Wait, is this phone still recording? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Say that again, Brennan. Uh, uh, <laughs> is this still recording? Uh, anyway. And, and as far as I know, that one has been the whole time. When was the last time anybody checked that? Well, see, that's Keith's phone, so I'm hey, hoping. Hey, Chad, you want to check that phone and see if it's still going? You know, we make him Chad get up. He studio, just got way. comfortable. Hi, Chad. just got comfy. And then you ask him to get up like that. Oh, look at his Hawaiian <laughs> shorts. Those are cute. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, it's yeah. going. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Chad, did you get a haircut? Yeah, yeah look. That's always a funny question because, right. like, everybody's always gotten a haircut. Well, you, you know? Obvious, it's obvious. Like, But but it's, it's like, yeah, obvious. I've gotten one before. It's just the nice way of saying, hey, you're handsome. Okay. You know? Just say it. <laughs> just say <laughs> it. You don't tell your friends. No, I just tell them they're handsome. <laughs> handsome. Chad's like, well, nice yeah. Ball. Want to do the week <laughs> recap? Like, you know, some people are sure. like, what? I tell, yeah, I just, I don't use code words. I just tell them they're handsome. It's not a code word. Like some people, you know. Yeah, it is. You just said it was. I did not say it was. <laughs> you handsome. said it was like telling him he was handsome. Yeah. So just tell him he's handsome. I did. I did say he was Chad, handsome. you look hot. We got over it. Let's move past. Week recap. <laughs> I'll never get past. I'll never get past Chad being handsome. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, weekly recap. Yeah. Keith. Oh, uh, me? Yeah. Mm. I didn't really do anything. Nothing. I worked a lot. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I did this podcast. I uh, I made those polls. I made. I went home after last time and I made that whole bracket. It took me a while, but you guys never said thank you or anything like that. But that's fine. <laughs> um, what? You're very handsome. Thank you. You're welcome. I know. But did you get a haircut? <laughs> I have. <laughs> I have. I have. Um, other than that, no, it was a very uneventful week. I'm pretty sure. Trigger treating was the week before, right? Yeah, dude, that was dope. Best trick or treating ever. I didn't do anything. Didn't didn't do anything. No, nope, that's good though. Sometimes. Yeah. That's meeting. I feel like I've had so many meetings lately. Yeah. But that was oh, it. I don't. I don't have any of those. Yeah, I got a lot. Yeah. Go ahead, Chris. That's all I got. That was uh, a very uneventful. Yeah, mine was <coughs> kind of uneventful too. We did the uh, Eastside Food Truck Park on Saturday again. Yeah. And uh, that was pretty cool. It was pretty busy. A lot of people there. Um, Where's that at? So that is 150 Veterans Drive by the VFW in Farmington. And so, yeah, oh. uh, Saturdays have, have, have started to be big, pretty big there. They um, usually have it full of food trucks and other vendors. And uh met this nice old lady named uh, Linda who uh, makes little houses. So that was kind of oh, wow. <laughs> that was kind of neat, I guess. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, she's like what? Brandy, like she's when you say little houses, like like, like, like doll they, houses, they or like, like they look like bird houses. Um, okay, but they okay. Uh, she like paints them and puts moss on them and different things. Oh, but nice. they're like not bird houses, but they're I don't know I don't know what they're used for okay. really. But decoration, they're like eighty bucks. Perfect. That's a good deal. <laughs> yeah, okay. For handmade <laughs> stuff. I mean, you know, who knows what you put into it, right? I mean, yeah. She, Come on. Give Linda some credit. Yeah, Linda, Linda was really sweet, and her stuff looked great. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, so we did the food truck park. My only day off was Saturday. I just kind of uh, recouped and started work again on Monday and been hard at, at it since then. Cool. Am I going to be able to say this without being interrupted? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I doubt it. <laughs> I'll be able to, I'll be able you, you to might, hear your echo. Yeah, you yeah. might not be interrupted, but I we'll still know. make fun of you after. <laughs> it was pretty uneventful for the most part. I'd, I'd composed some music, and outside of that, I uh, made some Tic Tacs and wow. Tic Tocs and stuff. Wow. 
Yeah. TikToks and TikToks. <laughs> Ooh. TikToks. That's TikToks. impressive. Tell us more about the 80 things that you do every day and every week, Justin. This week, the 20 podcast. Not much, on. actually. What? Blast we we released the uh, the Midwest mixtape podcast. Uh, we did the interview with Steve Ewing Up the from Urge. the Urge. Yeah. Yes, uh, we were re- blah, 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 blah. we released that one uh, yesterday. Mm. And uh, other than that, like I've just done some TikToks and composed some music and shit. I haven't done too much. Went on Beyond FM again. Beyond FM is actually uh, on a couple week break, so. Not really. We're doing a staff meeting tomorrow, but we're not having a show this week. Well, so. Yeah, you're in meetings too. You got to make it sure on air that you know you're just as important as everybody else who has to be in meetings. <laughs> you're official. <laughs> you're official. You have meetings. I have to tell people on air. I'm, I have to go to a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> like I go to a meeting. <laughs> we're gonna talk about some business. <laughs> 2024 business. Nice. Yep. Can't wait. Which oh, I'll get yeah. to be hanging out with Steve Ewing tomorrow. Really? Yep. That's cool. That'll be cool. He'll be there tomorrow. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs> you know, my father met Steve Ewing in 93. That's cool. Yeah. Met him before you were born. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I met Steve Ewing in 97. Really? Yeah. I think it was 97. It's no 93. It's Did no he turn 90. you down for an autograph? Sure. Yeah. Joking. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, you know, we talked about that point urge game, I think. Did we talk about that? It was we did. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah um, my sister got the game puck. Steve handed it to her. Signed. All of your stuff, yeah. Oh, really? it was their, it was yeah. Their th- so the point in the urge would have these uh, these hockey games like every now and again. They had three of them, and I missed my uh, seventh grade Valentine's Day dance to go to this. Wow, yeah. you dedicated, man. Wow. Good, I good reason. I'm not, I'm not a good dancer. Yeah, he know, stood so. me up. Either, don't worry about it. He puts um, that on resumes too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I skipped my seventh grade Valentine's Day dance. I'm dedicated. But no, so we we went to that and we stayed after and uh, and yeah, Steve uh, handed my sister the puck. That so is that was kind of cool. Yeah. Something special. And then he was like, I'm all out, kid, when Chris wanted his. Yeah, he yeah. looks, he, he looks me down. And then he the morphed into <laughs> Goldberg. Aren't you that kid? Aren't you that kid that Bill Goldberg wouldn't sign for? I signed for you either. <laughs> yeah, him and Bill are tight. All these celebrities have like a picture of you not signing autographs. Yeah, he's like blackballed. <laughs> Todd, how was your week? Mm, it's fantastic. Uh, I'd spend it with the kid, man. I don't really. I don't. How's, uh, how's Justin's mom doing? <laughs> Uh, Wait, that has to be mentioned. <laughs> Hi, she's, mom. She's able to walk again. Thank <laughs> you. Thank she's still uh, filled up on my cake. Ooh. <laughs> That's fine. I supplied the icing. <laughs> so. We planned that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh man. Uh, other than uh, I gave him the keys of the door. He, he I walked out. He I mean, she in. lives right down the road. <laughs> if you guys want to place everything. God Almighty. <laughs> Other than uh, your mom's stuff, and, uh, <laughs> my kids' stuff, man, just you know, wrote, I also living that family life. I also yeah. compose some music, yeah. uh, as Dope. I do oh. from time to time. Oh, nice. Yeah. You haven't showed me none. I've shown you shit. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's because you send me all these videos that I'm just never going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> or like, yeah. Be, be, <laughs> hey, listen to this super windy 30 second clip <laughs> of me singing going down the highway. <laughs> As you know, <laughs> as you work midnights and you're trying to sleep and do all this other stuff, and then <laughs> hey, as you're fighting this, uh, you know, gross naked dude, I want you to li- listen what? to this. <laughs> listen to these 10 to 20 second voice notes. 90% is air pollution, just. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. okay. These this week were <laughs> videos of Guitar Pro behind my computer. There wasn't airflow, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't in my car. <laughs> yes, the MIDI, the MIDI sounds are much better. Probably a yeah, little dude, more I, I got a uh, I got a weird job, you know. So mm-hmm. sounds like a great one. Uh, it depends on what you enjoy. <laughs> well, what you've said uh, so far. <laughs> well, I like to be really sarcastic from time to time, and I can do that. You yeah. Know. Uh, and that's kind of it, a lot of what I do now is kind of in the sense of what I did the prison. You know, especially if you have to wrestle a naked uh, poopy fella. And then uh, the jo- the jokes that just instinctively come out of me, you know, I'm like, oh, we're in a crappy situation, uh, you know, as you're yeah. fighting. <laughs> yeah, so it's just you have to have a sense of humor with these things. Uh, but that, that's how my week's been going. Is it? How are your me? elbows? Uh, so oh, I yeah. see the doctor tomorrow. So you ready to get back on the bike? Uh, get back to guitar, man. We need you. <laughs> well, have you taken a ride since? No, I can't. Like, even if I wanted to. Uh, yeah, he I, did. Like, so even, so my, my elbows are doing a lot better. I have to get x-rays tomorrow. 
But it's weird. Like even like getting out of bed, I still have to like roll. Fuck, I hate it every time mm. he writes yeah. in my notebook. And then he's <laughs> making more notes. Okay, <laughs> all right. No, don't mind me. I'm just checking things out that I have mentioned before. <laughs> Some that uh, I still need to talk about. But I, I kind of feel like a snail sometimes when I'm like, oh, I gotta get up, and then like I can't like still push myself up. Mm. Uh, certain doors I have issues with, <laughs> like gripping things and stuff. But I, mean, I can Ooh. pick up like I can still pick up things. Now, like this, like I, I wasn't able to do this. Like, Picking up yeah. things is good. Well, usually when you wake up, try to roll out of bed. His mom's right there, so <laughs> yeah, you like, like I can't <laughs> push her out of there, you know. So I have fresh to like, out, <laughs> fresh out of a porking. Fresh out of a porking. <laughs> I've seen I've, the snail trail you've left at her house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, because I can't like, I can't like just skedaddle anymore. As quick as possible, so I have to like roll off the bed onto the floor and like wiggle my way out the house without waking you know this kid up. Make sure there's. A- <laughs> hey, I have to make sure there's some fruit snacks and some Capri Suns left. You need to clean the welcome mat. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Well, I steal all the Lunchables too. That way, I'm like, ah, Justin, these are my Lunchables. Fuck, I was wondering where those went. That way, when he goes on his fifteenth podcast, he's like, Todd, Todd bangs my mom and takes my Lunchables. I do two podcasts and a radio show, you motherfuckers. <laughs> One of the radio shows just happens to be turned into a podcast. <laughs> sure, to remind everybody that you're how busy you are. <laughs> what about you? you? <laughs> Eighty-three. What about you, Brennan? What? No one cares. How's your week? Oh, man. Well, okay. um, <laughs> set him on I, uh, fire. I've also, just like everybody else, what? Fire. Set him on fire. Oh, set him on fire. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep... Mm-hmm. I'm into that. I know you are. Let's rephrase that question. How many podcasts have you done this week? Oh, man. <laughs> well, I guess not as many as JSTN. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cool, and I get reminded of that every week when I listen in. You are the one that brought it up. Actually, <laughs> you were asked before Why? me how my week has been, so you've been able to tell people what you've been doing before me. Why were you a Muppet? <laughs> all. Cookie, I don't know. Why is it that every time I want to get reminded <laughs> what Down syndrome looks like, I just, have to see, I just have to look at you laugh? If I just see you laugh, I know what a black oh. frog without. He's see, been making this syndrome weird of a face. down, baby. He's New band make, name. Have you seen this face? He's been making this face to people now. Yeah, I've heard about and this for a couple weeks now. What is I it? Can you show me? Yeah, that's what is the, it? That face. <laughs> yes, that's what he's been making. Yeah, can you like, show me though? For like, for like, no, he'll just like look at you and he'll make the face. <laughs> I don't know. He, he can't no, do it on no command. Way. What is it? Come on, show me. No, we're not getting in your van. Not I don't that. even know what they're talking about. <laughs> Apparently, it's just a, a face a, they make it's, sometimes, it's, but I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. It's kind of like a closed eye, side eye, duck lip. Like it's your <laughs> face. You got to double chin it, you know, back. Yeah, there you go. No, you got to duck no. lip it. You got to scrunch up more. Yeah. Yeah. Scrunch like you your just, eyes more. You, there, like you yeah, just, it's a little closer. Like you just got punched <laughs> in the nose. Oh, my God. I've only listened to the podcast. You guys were like, it sounded like you guys were very disturbed by that. Oh, yeah. It was very scary. That wasn't that bad. Oh, that wasn't the real one. It wasn't yeah, the real that face. wasn't. You got to oh. see the authentic. That's yeah. Yeah. probably the nicest thing you've said about me tonight. <laughs> oh, that's a shame, man, because it's only downhill from here. Anyway, <laughs> no. back to me for once. I know it's crazy, right? Back to me for once. How I'm doing, uh, just like everybody else, I'm working. I'm in school right now. Uh, my week. I know, I know. I actually don't have kids. I'm like 90, 98% of the other people in here, right? Sure. I think, I think I didn't everyone anybody. in here. Uh, Keith, that wasn't. Uh, you just yeah, you open it up, though. <laughs> so, I mean, I say, so, hey, Brennan. Hey, I can mute you. I know you can. Don't, please. No, please. No, no, okay, not. go ahead. Anyway, no, uh, didn't do anything for Halloween. My lady and I stayed in. Um, you guys pass out candy? No, we didn't. Are you allowed to do that? Yeah, we can. Oh, okay. Just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, like she's she's Puerto Rican, not on the. <laughs> list. Oh, I wasn't talking about her. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! Wow, Chris, Chris is like xenophobe like, over here. Yeah. Chris went. Oh, just because she's foreign, huh? <laughs> like, how, how, <laughs> yeah. But um, other when um, and uh, I'm pretty sure later in the podcast we do a thing where you guys talk about what everybody's listening to, right? Oh, yeah, we yeah. do. Okay, I'll talk about that later then, but um, everything else, yeah, just school, work, uh, working on my uh, my techie stuff, um, hanging with a lady, uh, enjoying a quiet house. How do you do so that? So your notebook oh, there, was that all written this week? or, or did uh, t- uh, This was written about an hour ago. 
Okay, so that, yeah, this that's is on the agenda. He takes no, notes uh, on the everything. the show notes. So basically, I have references. So that's <laughs> context to past episodes. That way, I can refer to things that y'all So he can about. be on the inside. Inside, inside jokes. What I've been listening to. Things that I need to mention before we are done here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm well, curious well, what you need to mention. Yeah, let's say, what's one thing, one thing you want to mention? I'm going to... Okay, this is one thing I've been looking forward to oh, talking about yeah. for four freaking weeks now. All right, you're, you're ready? giving me the finger, and I'm loving it. Minutes. Here we go, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to air some dirty laundry. Ooh. I fucking hate Blink 182. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Slap that! Slap that! Slap that! I think Blink is a overrated band. All right. All right. Every album. Sounds Why are you so angry? <laughs> Every album sounds the same. I think Tom DeLonge is a huge... Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't going to say it. It doesn't matter what you're going to say. It doesn't sound like it was going to be nice. He was going to say that he's Puerto Rican, and Chris was going to get offended again. (laughs) You ruined the energy. I wasn't offended. Yeah, I did, because... I I thought you were assuming that this should be a handout candy. (laughs) Tom DeLonge is a genius. I didn't say he wasn't, but I was just going to give my opinion about what what he is. A great guy. No, Listen! Okay. He's hiding things. <laughs> All right. Just like the government's hiding things. The like, government makes him hide things. It's right. He's one of them. He's part of the plan. He's hiding things like the government hides three main things. Aliens, Atlantis, which is where the aliens reside, and most importantly... <laughs> I, we're just going to hear money. <laughs> I, think, I think I know where all three of those things are. <laughs> We're in Justin's so, mom's where's closet. Where's the proof? Why don't we talk about these things? I oh try to talk God. about some things sometimes, and then you know, Keith. That, that was that was because something. then, but then Keith's like, "No, Taylor Swift's a goddess." And I'm like, she is not. She's on Epstein's island list, isn't she? And she, she looks like on, a two by four. It's on fucking Reddit, so that's you gotta believe it. It's on the internet. Hey, why don't you go ahead and clap so we can edit that whole thing out? <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, so I've had a uh, very bad sinus. So I have sinuses like real bad. I also make dad noises like left and right. Ugh. Dad noises like oh yeah, Ugh. yeah. Like if I'm getting out of no, yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, so yeah. those are real. Like once you have a kid, those are real. I, I, really, I, I really will be disappointed if you cut any of that out. I'm all for it. Let's go for it. Keep anyway, yeah, you, we can, can, you can just can bleep it yourself. out. We I don't have care. to cut it out. We can bleep it out. No. <laughs> so anyway, you can't bleep out facts. I no. I don't That's think those were. F- I thought he was. What's funny say. is yeah. it's actually been. Uh, they actually think Tom DeLonge does have a CIA handler that like handles him and everything. I told you. I tried to warn you guys, and you guys never. So he, no, I I don't I think actually, that makes him a bad guy. That sounds plausible. Say, it's exactly. Thank you. Finally, God, you say. Well, oh, I'm pretty sure it's true. Like Jesus. I'm pretty sure it's like 100 percent true. The difference Dick. is, <laughs> even though he's definitely being handled, he's not. By who? In, uh, By my mom. Let me see if I can. I have the name. Let you me have th- the name. Uh, oh, there's my phone. <laughs> Let, okay. We're done. Yeah. When we're done. I'll. Uh, uh, we gotta cut. It. We gotta be done now. I guess. No. Bye. Listen. No. Listen. <laughs> the amount of editing I'm already gonna have to do with the th- <laughs> three yeah. videos, three cameras, and the rant. Eighteen videos. <laughs> Keith, come on, man. <laughs> go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um. I don't even want to ask you what else is on that list. Well, I'm, I, it, it's much more to fit. It, it, so you guys I, have different. You guys have different uh, segments and stuff. So some, a lot of the things that I have at um, that okay. I have on here goes to different. Well, I just want to say after you said that that like I Blink One Eighty Two is is still good. <laughs> okay. Um, they've made a lot of good albums. This one was. This one was good. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it peak? One, like should I be no. listening to <laughs> listening to it for three weeks straight? Probably not. Probably not, because I've heard. But I've heard people, certain people, just talking about <laughs> listening to it for the past three weeks. And but it gets me riled up at work. It gets my little feathers ruffling. And let me tell you something else. All right, and don't worry, I'm not gonna say anything bad. But. Every album sounds the same, including the new one. I've listened to 30 seconds of the opening track, and I wasn't pleased. It doesn't. It's not the cast pajamas. And it's the blank we needed, man. I wasn't done talking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. So you know, I could, I could, I can see what you're saying, but, but, but I think you're still wrong. Um, and that's okay. Like it's okay. 
It's okay to not be You know what? Let's start the next segment. What are you listening to right now, then? Well, let's start down the table here. No, I want to start with you. We're starting on your end, and we're going back. Well, I haven't been listening to much music, because mainly I like to listen to my music while I spend a significant time in my vehicle, or I'm at work working on uh, very redundant, tedious stuff, because that's the best pastime, right? Yeah. You're doing the same thing for like four or five hours or eight hours (laughs) a day, just... Put on a podcast, put on an album, whatever, you know, you're fine. But what I will say as far as where I am and, you know, where I am and what I'm listening to, last week I was at Todd's house underneath his bed <laughs> listening <laughs> to him porking Justin. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Alexa's playing the Blink album while it's going That's where he's heard it so much. That's where he heard the 30, <laughs> 30 <laughs> seconds of, of Blink was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> strangers. Hey, her, hey, his mom's good. Strangers man. into brothers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> brothers into strangers. In reality, again. though, I will tell you what I've been listening to. <laughs> that wasn't real. <laughs> I will tell you what I've been listening to. Okay. Okay, start on the list. Uh, poor King. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, no. Um, I listen to mainly international music. I don't really listen oh, Chris, to much. You make it? Are you okay? Because <laughs> <laughs> you got real bad earlier. Um, no, I don't really. Because listen. he's listening to international music. I want to make sure Chris was okay. Oh, he's the, he's oh, he's all. Like I have no, no, I have no judgment on that. Yeah, I don't, what is he saying? I think everyone well, can pass well, out Halloween candy. Every country. <laughs> every <internet. laughs> <laughs> Earlier, I was insinuating that they were saying that your girlfriend, you guys, weren't passing out ha- Halloween candy because right. your girlfriend was Puerto Rican. So now they ha- they think that I am. <laughs> so now they think I have a problem with foreigners. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just the band, not people. But you Ooh, know, hey. um, no, uh, yeah. So I, I have no problem. But are you listening to? Do you listen to Puerto Rican music? I mean, your girlfriend probably does, right? She does like a lot of um, Hispanic genres. But between all the um, Latino and um, Latin countries and lands, they typically like listening to the same kind of stuff like reggaeton, uh, bachata, salsa, um, a bunch of like very dancey, grindy type stuff. Um, I like grindy. You like grindy? Then you probably mm. like reggaeton. They like to sweat when they listen to me. Oh my God. They like to be in <laughs> like the Pretty club. Ricky. I like a good bossa nova. Shit bossa nova. you hear like bossa in the nova's kitchen not, of like I a fucking ra- me- a Mexican restaurant. Hey, uh, hey, the Justin show. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta go to commercial <laughs> or to the Justin show. Let's go back to PPPPP, the Pop Punk Pizza Party podcast. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Todd, before we were really interrupted, let's continue our story. All right. <laughs> to answer your question, I think Bossa Nova is technically a Latin genre, but she doesn't really listen to that. Okay. Her main Latin genre is like reggaeton. It's like, um, what's the guy who sings Gasolina? Daddy Yankee. Uh, you know, every song has that beat behind it. If it has that beat. It's a fucking reggaeton song. <laughs> but it's so popular in like Puerto Rico and Colombia and Argentina and stuff like that. Like Bad Bunny is the biggest Latin artist right now. I only know of that name because she listens to him. She listens to El Alfa. She listens to Daddy Yankee. And I was introduced to a lot of Spanish speaking music um, from the Latin realm and learn a fair decent amount of Spanish because of it. So I kind of know at times when they're talking about grinding and fornicating and having <laughs> sexual fuck. Sexual <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Yeah, and uh, let's see. What's your favorite, like, uh, like, you know, what's no- your favorite sexual fuck? No. <laughs> like, nor- you know, Nordic, uh, oh. East Asian, like, oh, where, where um, do you, in the world, internationally? Uh, I would say, <coughs> well, I will put it towards a tie because it's hard for me to choose a one favorite for anything. It's between Germany and mm-hmm. Japan. Ooh. Germany, because I'm speaking the language. I've been speaking it for it'll be four years this January. That's awesome. And uh, my main German bands that I've been listening to, we could finally get into my list. From Germany, I've been listening to Sea Line, Leah, Luna. The three of those are each female pop artists. Very good. Very great singers. Cool. Uh, bands, uh, obviously, Rammstein. I've been listening to Rammstein okay. for, since I was a kid, and I went to see them this past September. I'm sorry, September last year. I want to hear about that. Yeah, uh, to, uh, to I'll talk about it when I'm done with my list. <laughs> yeah. no, that was actually not an insult for <laughs> once. I know, shocker, right? <laughs> you know, Brennan for what, 20, 30 minutes, and we're already used to him insulting <laughs> this guy and belittling him? <laughs> no, um, but uh, I'll talk about the Rammstein visit here soon. Kraft Club, which is another great um, German band, pop, 
rock sounding, um, like very drive, not metal, but they're very, you know, just very drive, lots of group vocals and very good band. Cool. And a lot of people may laugh, but Tokyo Hotel. Okay. That's a band from like early 2000s. And uh, they do both English and German songs, but uh, Monsoon's a great song from them. And they're from Germany. Still they listening to the Wiggles? Uh, every day, actually. <laughs> I mosh to Hot Potato with myself in my bedroom before bed every night. Sounds like a Brandon thing to do. Hot Potato, Hot Potato, man. <laughs> but that's from my Germany list. And as far as Japan, it's just three real bands. One of them is a composer, but I'll start with the bands. Yeah, Aqua the Times. The best. Yes. Aqua Times is a lot of songs that are in a lot of animes. So Bleach, oh, that's the only one that I know for sure. But they have like four or five or six different songs in different animes. Monkey Magic, which is a great band. And ironically, mm -hmm. two of those members are Canadian. And they moved to Japan. They're both brothers. And they moved to Japan to teach English. And instead, they join a band, and that's their occupation now. So that's, oh, pretty, wow. that's a pretty damn cool success that's story. Deep. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then the last Japan artist is a composer who actually passed away a few months ago. His name's Ryoichi Sakamoto. He was a classical and pianist uh, composer from the early 80s, late, late 70s. And uh, he really he was one of the few composers to really, that wasn't in a mainstream genre like rock, to really take advantage of the technological advances that music equipment had. So the invention of sampling, the invention of MIDI, he got his hands on all the, the big gadgets at the time, and he, in, he incorporated those sounds into his music, especially in the early to late 80s. Very big, future-esque sounding stuff. Mm -hmm. And then from the 90s on until uh, his death, he really was mainly uh, just piano music. A lot of his improv was made into albums, and but no, those are my <coughs> main uh, countries that I listen. I really just listen to Japan and Germany as far as international, and I don't listen to a lot of American music. And I'm dead. Is Japanese there, music is, there is pretty a awesome. Reason? There's two people talking. <laughs> is there a reason that you don't like that you prefer international music? Uh, I feel like their their flavor, I'll call it, is very unique as opposed to stuff that that American and other English speaking bands offer because I feel like um so it's like more fresh almost like there's a formula fresh. to American <coughs> music and and there's as yeah. much different yes a lot more world instruments also a lot more what world instruments like different cultural oh, yeah it's not just heavy guitar right. with drums with bass right. it's more fresh and international Americans have like this formula like you know when this hook is coming you know yeah. when you kind of know what the chords of the chorus are going to sound like just because you heard the first chord. You know what the rest of the progression is going to sound like. You know when the bridge is going to come. When they say the first couple lyrics of a sentence, you already know, like, okay, this sentence, I'm going to guess what they're saying, and it's been used in, like, 20 other songs. I can, and then you know they're going to say, oh, I can make it on my own. How many fucking songs have I heard that in? Or... Mm. It, 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 America has, and I think, uh, like I said, other English-speaking um, bands have that same formula. And as opposed to lyrics, it's like the way it's produced even. It's just so compressed. It's just so loud. It's so processed. There's so much pitch correction on, yeah. on vocals. But as opposed to other international musics, mainly like Germany and Japan, for instance, it's a little bit more raw more heartfelt lyrics when you translate them to english of course and in japan they have a way of doing Good. melodies that is like do they still no follow other. like the same yeah. chorus verse chorus verse or verse chorus verse chorus they do okay but a lot of bands in japan like rock bands they do choruses different every chorus has different words yeah okay uh, it's very nice what did you think of the naruto shippuden soundtrack i know you've watched it i don't actually watch tv i've had i i know you've heard it i i you're gonna have to give me a song name because here's the thing: I don't watch TV and I don't play video games. <coughs> okay. Uh, what about the one you did a cover with Eli? Which one? I've done like you did. You did a Naruto Shippuden. One of those songs. I don't know the damn damn names of it. Haruka Kanana. Was it that one by Asian Kung Fu Generation? That sounds right. Yeah, yeah that sounds yeah, right. It was that one. Yeah. So do okay. you not watch TV like at all, or no. do you, is it just like seldom? I. I only watch it because my girlfriend, like, she really wants me to watch the show or something. That's so, the same way I am. I hardly ever. What about, like, movies or? Again, it, it, it's if she really wants me to watch something with her, 
I may consider it, but it's not going to be 100% of the time. Like, if it's a show, I don't just watch one episode. I will watch the whole thing because she has to tell me. Because right. it's a show that she really likes. She's watched all the way through, and she really wants me to watch it. So um, I've watched Dark, which, which is a German show. Very good show, I recommend. That's on Netflix, way. right? Yes, it is. Okay. And so is 1899, which is made by the people who made yes. Dark. Very shitty thing that Netflix did by canceling it when the last episode of season one was the biggest cliffhanger you could ever imagine. Yeah, uh, um, agreed. 1899 and Dark, watch them on Netflix. And um, this past Saturday, we um, Sunday, I'm sorry, we actually finished a show that I started while I was on vacation in Puerto Rico in June called Attack on Titan. Yes. Uh, so final episode. I do not cry much when I watch TV. Not to mention, I've never cried during an anime before, but that made me cry the whole, it, watch the whole show start to finish do not just watch the season the series finale but Attack on the titans good shit so from a man who doesn't want doesn't like to watch tv that's a tv show you would recommend uh which one i named three attack on titan <laughs> yes if you if, if you're not a fan of anime <laughs> if you're not a fan of anime that is the one anime that's just like doesn't seem stereotypical um you know just it's not just basic shit like that. It's just like mushy, 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 mushy. <laughs> it's not just big, it's not just big titty anime goth girls. It's actually like a, Damn. a legitimate story with great graphics, <clears throat> twists, and just plot twists like unpredictability. And it's very serious, and very little is there comedic relief during like a heartfelt, serious or tragic moment. So, Did we just agree on something? Unfortunately, yeah. Wow, <laughs> you tricked me there, Todd. What are you listening to? What am I listening to? Blink. Uh, I am, uh, of <laughs> course, for like the fourth week in a row. Uh, <sighs> this is one of the best albums I've ever heard. Tom DeLonge is a master. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a time to go. Uh, but actually, for real though, uh, s- I've been listening to Trans Siberian Orchestra. Uh, almost not. The only thing I've been taking a break for for listening to TSO has been Blink. Uh, but Trans Siberian Orchestra, if you haven't heard them, I like, I'm a huge fan. I see them every year. This is gonna, this year will be my tenth time seeing them. Because uh, I'm I'm into like a lot of uh, big composers. Like I love composing and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they do a lot of Christmas <laughs> stuff. They also do a lot of non-Christmas stuff too. Mm-hmm. That's pretty dope. Uh, like they did like uh, like Beethoven's uh, like last night or whatever. And mm-hmm. so ba- basically, uh, Trans Siberian Orchestra. So go check them out. Just the show is amazing. Fire, lights, metal, Christmas. It's epic. <laughs> it is epic. And the better <laughs> thing, children. What? what? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone's been listening to Garth Brooks and Taylor Swift. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I think that was a Justin impersonation. Bad joke, no laughs. Uh, I laughed. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're up. What buddy. I'm listening to, uh, Stan Atlantic, um, Against the Current, which I really love. Against the Current. I can't believe I haven't mentioned them yet. Another female fronted band. I think uh, you said the same thing last week. Uh, not on the podcast though. I oh. mentioned off the I off air. Female frontal a lot. So I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot. Uh, Against the Current actually has a lot of like uh, Japanese music influences in their music. They're an English band, obviously, but um, English or American? Are they American? Like, oh, they're American. Okay, okay. Yeah, cool. they're actually from <laughs> California, but they take like a well, lot. There's of, a difference. They they tour a lot in Tokyo and things like that, oh. like in Japan in general, and uh, they take a lot of inspiration for that. They even have like. Uh, their songs are in a lot of like Japanese games, so which you know, really most games are Japanese games. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, wow, you're actually funny. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> fuck you, Brendan. <laughs> um, outside of that, not really. I mean, I listen to a couple of Blink songs again. <sighs> They're international Blink songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as long as they're sung in Japan, Japan, <laughs> Japan, and Japanian. Um, <laughs> I've been listening to our friends Japanese. Alex Casnell on the board of directors. Yeah, quite a bit. I listened to their whole catalog again this week. Um, Idle Threat. We were supposed to interview them this week. Unfortunately, they had a circumstance I don't want to talk about that they couldn't do. 
this week, so we will be rescheduling that, but we will actually be doing an interview with Idol Threat before long. Um, outside of that, no, not much different. What about you, Chris? Um, I've been listening O-O's. to... O-O's? Basically, what's that? <laughs> O-O's? O-O's, yeah, I mean, a little bit. <laughs> I, I picked up uh, one of those like JBL... Uh, charge fives or whatever yesterday i sell yeah. those yeah um, i don't know if you knew that i didn't know that yeah you could have bought it from me well this was 20 bucks off mm, so okay. i would have gave you a deal okay well i didn't know that. it's fine though it's <laughs> fine <laughs> table deal but so yeah i picked up one of those and uh so you know for the trailer uh for the food trailer so i've been uh i've been listening to a little more music for the past 24 hours or so um <laughs> but mostly like just re-listening to these podcasts um a lot of 90s grunge hip-hop uh with some pop punk sprinkled in there a little bit of blink um, just because it's now in my playlist, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. What, what, what's I was waiting for Brennan to like. Funny, Ty. <sighs> what? Yeah, it no. might be that. I was <laughs> waiting for Brennan to hey, grunt when you said blink. Yeah, I, I, I got distracted. I feel he was just laughing for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I just like I feel his soul burning. Like anyone, <laughs> like if like some little girl in New York's just like and thanks you know for the Blink album and he's just like over here in Missouri like. <laughs> I feel that I'm beginning to melt in my chair. Just <laughs> <laughs> disgust. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the only. You? I'll be the only one to not say I'm. I, well, so I did see my friends play a. I guess that would have been my week recap, but I went and saw uh, Feeling This, their yeah, Blink One Eighty Two cover band. Crap, I forgot. Uh, yeah, I was there. You know, uh, I got oh, high. Phone audio. <laughs> Brendan's uh, just rolling his eyes. <laughs> so it's it's Greg from Last Stands and Dustin that used to be oh, in our band at yeah, one point. Great guys. Yeah, uh, it was it was uh, actually a lot of fun because. You know, Blink's it, got some really good songs. I wish fun. I could have been do there. Do they sound pretty good in person? They do, yeah. yeah well, I mean, the phone audio is not great. Like, that's probably the worst to, like, record on yeah, this for sure. audio. But I thought even on that, they sounded pretty good. So uh, they, they they had to run the sound themselves while they were playing, too, in hubs. I don't think it's built very sound well, quality. They yeah. played in hubs. Yeah. Oh, what? So... Yeah. I think I think maybe that was part of it too, um, oh but but I think it's still they did a really good job. It was a lot of fun, um, but uh, that's the only blink that I've been listening to um, was that that show. Uh, other than that, like specifically, I found this band. They've been around for a bit, but they're from like Australia called the Hard Aches. Uh, real good stuff. I've been pretty well hooked on their stuff for like the past four days or so. Been well hung for the last few days. <laughs> no, I just been hooked. Oh, I've never been well hung. Oh. But um, I mean, I've been in a band with you for nine years, so I already know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's how we. That's how we bonded. You're right. It was the first day. Just the tip. I remember yeah. like it was yesterday. No, no, it wasn't the first day because you were still in high school. I think when we. Did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that. That just makes it. Can't, can't we picked him up on his way home. He's just and, like, uh, yeah, it didn't happen then. Actually, because <laughs> <laughs> you were but, in high school. No, we can't talk about that. I know. That's what I'm saying. School. He's like, hey, you want a nacho salad? I'm selling them for my eighth grade class. Yeah, we can call it a four dollar meal deal. Let's talk about how Brendan became your guys' drummer. You want to tell a story? <laughs> you want me to tell it? You tell it because it's so funny. Yeah, it's so. I funny mean, I mean, guys. really, it was. Uh, we put on our first notes for Hope. Yeah, show. I think it was our first one, wasn't it? Yeah, we, we talked about it on the Midwest yeah. mixtape. Okay, so it was our first one, and uh, I remember uh, this this one guy uh, that was in our band uh, at the time. He's probably hanging out at the high school. I think that's probably how you guys met. I don't know. Yeah, he picked me up one day. <laughs> yeah, I picked it. <laughs> but anyway, um, so he was drumming because we just lost a drummer, and then we, we moved all around. Andrew filled in guitar at that point. But uh, but Brennan was working the door that day, and then he's telling everybody that he's the new drummer for the Cinema Story. And then my wife was like, hey, um, I, I guess she introduced or, or he introduced himself and was like, hey, I'm the future drummer of the Cinema Story. She's like, really? Because uh, that's my husband's band. And uh, th- then then he came over and um, he practiced with us. And I was like, fuck, I hate that this guy's such a dick because he's really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, before I came over for your first practice, before I even wanted to um, say for sure that I wanted to be a part of the band, I got my hand on a three-track yeah, d- uh, the demo. Burnt disc of um, some of your guys' old stuff from the Cross Your Fingers EP. Yeah. I listened to that nonstop, and I came in, and I knew the songs, and y'all didn't expect it. No, we didn't, because we had just tried out Paul, too, <laughs> uh, for, for Bays, I think. Yeah. And uh, we were like, and he had no idea any of the structures or anything. And then you, you came in, and I'm like, wow, we didn't even skip a beat. It was, it was really good. So, yeah, he was... 
he was ready to go. We brought him in. And we're like, fuck, we're going to take him and record this album. It was a good him. story. That's why um, I wanted it said. I think it it's funny. It was a story. It was a cinema <laughs> story. Oh. <laughs> but, but yeah, and then uh, then he never left until he did. And now we're, Leave. we don't do anything I, I, anymore. I, 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 He's like, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. But we've got so much stuff that we have to put out, Brendan. Like, we have more than, I think, 25 demos that we're sitting on right now yeah. of almost completely mixed s- demos with almost some have vocals, a lot of them are instrumentals, but we're sitting on some. We have a lot. Juicy. We should probably finish one day. One Hell day. Yeah. If we can ever, Let's do it right now. If we can ever, I mean, ever right resurrect our guitarist from the dead. I think one day. And then we could steal Todd. <laughs> Hey, fuck you. <laughs> I mean, you can add some ASMR sounds. These are porking noises. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I also like international sound- things. So hey, international porking. Hey, well, Brennan, Brennan, remember <laughs> when we were, we were playing out of Best town somewhere? Pizza name. <laughs> international <I don't>, porker. <laughs> out of town. Okay. We were out of town. We went to Steak and Shake after the show. And, <laughs> and I already know where you're going. Yeah. And when you... you He's hard to take out the public, right? Yeah, you yeah. can you could probably uh, yeah. guess that, I, I would imagine. Um we used to not let him talk to people. <laughs> like he wasn't yeah. allowed to like do any of the settling or anything like we that. We know that. <laughs> um but but this time we were sitting at the table and and he doesn't realize the waitress just stood right behind him and he's like shaking because he thinks it's funny and he's like, Refill, refill and then she like grabs the glass and she says in his face. <laughs> and he, and like, oh god and and she she was not happy um i, I don't even think we had gotten our food yet because he just sucked it down was it milk or something he used to order the weirdest shit um <laughs> how, does, how does spit taste yeah it, it probably it, it, did yeah well because well and she was probably already upset because every restaurant we ever went over any of the point of the time he said do you have carrot juice and then he'd be like, no, and well, I'll have nothing. And I will have nothing. Exactly. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> every time. So she was probably already mad. Yeah. And so then he didn't he get shook. anything to drink. I did. I got, like, milk. Yeah, or just, yeah. <laughs> and then he sucks it down, and he's, like, shaking the fucking ice. And then she's she's. Oh, angry. you got ice with milk? No, I don't. It might not have been ice that day. <laughs> it was probably soda or something, yeah, if it was ice, because I like I, every time I'm out, even with my girlfriend today, so many years later, I have it in my head. I just want to... <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> uh, we saw her there. He did not. So I was like, I was just mortified as his hands going up with that glass. And I was like, oh, his girl- God. His girlfriend probably thinks this is normal American culture. <laughs> 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 it's like, we just act like buffoons. <laughs> we just act like absolute dickheads. <laughs> this is, he, she, she would say that it's just normal behavior for me because she said nobody else would do that. I don't know how she's, uh, she still puts up with you, Brennan. I for really real? don't know either. Yeah. I don't know but how It's, it's impressive, to be you. honest. Like, she's yeah. a saint. Yeah, she is. Um, the she, Latinas are different. Breed. She makes real good food. She makes wonderful food. I know. I miss band practice where she just made food for everybody. Yeah, yeah. that was great. Yeah, <coughs> it. Um, yeah, it was good. But uh, again, it's hard to get our um, dead guitarist back to life. And <laughs> he's not really dead. He's not. It's just, just thought we should say that. No, <laughs> well, I was. Not. I was going to make some jokes, and I'm just like, go ahead. I, well, I mean, I was. It's Andrew. I was, it's Andrew. I figured it was Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I didn't know if he was like, re- like I figured it was Andrew. But I'm just like, before I make jokes, no. Like he'll I, probably hear this. Well, so. I'm like, is this guy really dead? Because I'm like, I'm about to be like, oh, the, you know, cor- her, 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 he's her, at least whatever. better than your guys' old guitarist. Do we uh, want to talk about is that? You? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he deserves the mention. But um, <laughs> nah, let's not talk about it. Yeah, and it's not because we can't. Because it's not like we're having any legality issue. No, it's just we just don't want to yeah. talk about yeah. him. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just not a good. I like fella. Andrew a lot. No, Andrew's no, great. No, Andrew's, Andrew's, Andrew's fantastic. Yeah. Definitely yeah. an upgrade from their old guy. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're talking about our, our former. Guitar. Which, which yeah. Andrew was 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 the other right. guitarist at that point. Right. Too, I don't so. think I don't think you're talking bad about. No, I thought you were talking bad about him. Oh, Justin, you're always talking yeah. bad so, about me. <laughs> We would never let Justin in our band. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you were talking about no. like, we had an old one, you know. No, no, no. Um, yeah, he was He was never allowed. You're the only one that was uh, dumb enough to let me <laughs> be in a band with you. <laughs> and uh, here I am. He's about to jump ship. <laughs> hey, Todd, 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 don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andrew, if you're listening, 
Come back from the dead. Yeah, please. Where has he your, been? Let your wife give you permission to come. And uh, <laughs> has that been the issue? <laughs> no, nah, he's got he's got kids. He just had another yeah, one. Yeah. So I think COVID really threw us off. To be honest, you I think, think so? I think for sure because like we stopped playing shows. We didn't have anything booked. We didn't have anything to look forward to. You know. Yeah, a lot of people lost their minds, but found some other things, man. Yeah. No, so I mean, oh, like yes. we didn't have shows to do. So I think I think we all got out of the habit of it. To be honest, I think that's that's how things happen. I wish you guys would get back at it, but I am grateful to the fact that you had the free time to start this podcast with us. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll have more to talk about if we get back together. Because you you'll be like, "Hey, Todd, too. remember when Todd was in your band and not mine? That's what we'll talk about." Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, we already talked about how Lucas was in your yeah, band. That's true. <laughs> he was in our band for one show, I think. Uh, it was it was uh, it was two. Two. One of them went really well. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the one where he beat himself up so badly over like how poopy he thought he did. Well, I think we were yeah, and we started talking about it the other day, but I was like, we're not going to talk about that one. Uh, but yeah, he, he had a rough show. Yeah. Um, but he recorded a few things with us, and it was really good. Yeah, he did. He, he uh, did. recorded our newest uh, version Breathe. of Breathe Easy. Breathe Easy, yeah. Yeah, did a, some very good lead guitars for that. and uh, <laughs> The very end, yeah. yeah. That was his only feature. And then I just had to out. redo it because I did backup vocals for the other one. Uh, Well, you know. Anyway, what were you saying, Keith? I don't know. I was going to say we redid it because we, we needed to. Yeah. What was your guys' like, favorite show together? Oh, if man. If you had to pick one. <coughs> one that we would agree on being our favorite? Or no, individual? just personal, individual. Oh God, I've I did play a few shows where I did say like, man, that was an amazing show, and it yeah, was, was with some... our old guitarist too. I I gotta say the probably what? the bad one, not yeah. Andrew. The bad one, what? Uh, the bad Jer- guitar player, the one yeah. you don't want to mention their name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that was one where oh yeah the spill canvas at the, the spill canvas was, was so yeah, was my fun favorite show man yeah because that I mean the place was packed uh, we that? had a pretty good Where's reaction that at? Um, the, the spill canvas so that's a band Chris oh okay I thought you, <laughs> I thought you were saying no, it's that okay. was a venue no we played at the Firebird oh okay that okay. was at the Firebird I missed that place right. yeah it was that was the, that was gonna say that's one of my tops uh, I think when we played one time in Fulton uh, at that park. With uh, you mean the American Dream? That was when we went on like a three day. Oh, in Columbia, right? Or was it Fulton or Columbia or something like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. What and about the show with uh, the last stanza, Hour Twenty Four, and uh, Racing on the Sun? Do you guys remember that? That one, one was also at the Firebird, yeah. and I yeah. know because you played with every us. every show at the Firebird was a great Hour show. Hour Twenty Four and Racing on the Sun both had light shows. I remember that. Yes, they were amazing. Yeah. But here's the thing. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna because. It involves me critiquing one of the bands that we played with, so I'm not going to do that. Never mind. I don't. I think. I th- yeah. I mean, some of the some of like the most fun are like, well, honestly, a lot of the notes for hope because you're playing with a lot of like just your friends, you know. But yeah, but that's. that's right. But we went to Columbia and we met those. We played with uh, Better Habs in St. Louis, and then we played with them in Fulton. We also played uh, that show with you me and the american dream yeah the park. That and was, then they came back with us too that was that's the one i'm talking about yeah yeah that night was also with con man economy yeah con mm-hmm. man i think that's oh, yeah. when i met um john yeah john, yeah great guy they're a great band oh yeah. my god and they, they're still doing it yeah they are they still got the same lineup i'm pretty sure they, yeah i think so they added uh remember uh fuck uh johnny's band we used to play with him at pap paps a lot um that yeah, was so fun. one of those guys from that band went to that band too. So, but yeah, Pap-Paps 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 was barn fest. fest. Barn fest was awesome. Barn Adam fest was amazing. Out. Lots of beer drinking. Yeah, everybody there was so like they looked like they were from whatever the fuck that town was. <laughs> <laughs> Pacific. Pacific. Sure. It, I think it was way out. It was somewhere out of town in Pacific. Yeah, it's yeah. Just completely right not. City. Next to yeah, civilization. I think so, yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. It was way out there. Todd's got to get going in like 15 minutes, I think. All right. Leave Todd alone. Yeah. Todd can do what he wants, all right? <laughs> Leave Todd alone, man. I was, I was getting Todd's back. Uh, I just, haven't said anything. Just, Justin was just tired of us talking. You got your you got your eye on the clock? No, no. Are, yeah. are you the producer of this fucking <laughs> podcast, too? Hey, hey, everybody, take a break here. I mean, the sort of. Go now. All right. Come no. On. All right. But, uh, I'm the only structure we fucking have. I don't know about that. If structure was made of cheese, butter, and a methadone <laughs> clinic. What the fuck? Speaking of uh, methadone, uh, I forgot I saw Metallica over the weekend. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, took, I took my kid to see Metallica on Friday yeah. with uh, Pantera. 
did you go to the wrong place or you were headed there? <laughs> no, so my kid likes Metallica. <laughs> oh, okay. Which is why we went, you know. Well, I'm we just fucking to... with you, Todd. I'm sorry. Well, look, I don't like Metallica. I don't mean to be mean to you. That's okay. Okay. Um, I, <laughs> it's okay when you guys are mean to me. I think it's funny. Uh, <laughs> right? Same, <laughs> same here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I like Pantera more. Okay. Uh, so I just, man, you just, I, I can't, like, if you listen to Pant- Pantera, you just feel tough. Like, yeah, I, man, can, I like, can see yeah, that. Okay, cool. You know, yeah. now, that, now that you are or you aren't, but you feel like it when you listen to Pantera. Now, Nolan likes Metallica a lot. Really? Uh, so, you know, of course, this was a great opportunity. Oh, well, that's awesome, though, that you get to take him. Yeah, too, I mean, you know, just, you know and that, those are the moments I want to build with him. You know, like, hey, right. my, dad, my dad took me to these concerts. He takes yeah. me here. He does these things with me, you know, because it's. I think that's that's the coolest thing. Like, I, I, yeah. any time I can take my kids to, like, a, like I've seen them take, I've taken them to see New Found Glory several times. Oh, that's awesome, yeah. It's just been the best, especially Jordan's gotten to go on stage with them oh, that's a what, few yeah. times, and like that is just the coolest thing ever. And I'm like, man, I wish that was me. But that's the tough nope. things with my kids is because like my oldest has autism and he's real sensitive to sounds, so mm. like he he can't do loud noises or like even parades and stuff. So it, it's yeah. really tough to take them to places like that. And then, what does does no one like like music playing or have any? Uh, so I can't get him really to like. Want to play, like play, play. Yeah. I mean, he'll mess around, like on like some of the guitars or yeah. keyboard or whatever in my house mm-hmm. and stuff. But uh, he just like, you know, he loves listening to it. Yeah. And like, you know, he's like, he's all about everything music except for actually playing an instrument. That's he's always good, involved in like band practices and stuff, though. Well, I think that stuff's cool too. Cause like, if I was a kid, like, I might have always gone or some, not every time, but like, I've always taken mine to practice and pl- just shows I played. Jordan's gotten on stage with me before. Right. And it's like the coolest thing ever. Cause like, we did some covers yeah. together and uh, we, we did uh, Quicksand by Story So Far. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. At one point, we did that Love acoustic it. and Jordan's just trying hard, real hard. It was yeah. just the best thing ever. <laughs> did she do uh, the, the finger pointing into an empty field too? Uh, she didn't cause she was like this. I. <laughs> but uh, but like it's it's just so cool because growing up I didn't like my parents weren't into music like were they were into music but like they didn't play or anything like that so right. the fact that my kids can just go pick up a guitar and yours too and it's like super cool yeah see I don't I don't know like where any of this came from because like my parents didn't really ever do anything yeah with me I mean like you know they gave me house and home and food and clothes like cool like that's great but like uh, you know because my kid is totally different you know obviously like we provide and stuff but mm-hmm. you know it's more the you know hey like. I, what are you in? You know, like I didn't. I thought Fortnite was absolutely stupid, and then you know my kid gets into it, and now you know it's actually become a great way to bond. When right. He's at his mom's. He's like, "Hey, Dad, you want to play Fortnite?" Like, yeah. That's yeah, how that's awesome. It's, it's, Minecraft you know, like, with Grayson. Yeah, it's like stuff you know, like my parents would never do with me in a million years. Like whether I like it or not, it's the fact that like, yeah, man, like you're into. It, let me see what you're into because you know, for sure. You know, like I, I'm not a Metallica. Never have been. Probably never will be. But the fact that, I, you know, that he got to go to the TWA Dome, wherever it's called now, you know, and see uh, almost 80,000 people rocking yeah. out to Metallica, one of the biggest stages I've ever, you know, he's nine years old and he gets to say, hey, I've seen exactly. Metallica and all these other bands. You know, he's Blink got, to, he got to see, we went to Nashville, saw Blink, we saw right. Simple Plan, Slum 41, Fall Out Boy, Alkaline Trio. Uh, Why didn't you take your te- stepson to Fall Out Boy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, because he's been grounded. Oh, I've been grounding him a lot because he's. Uh, been, he, <laughs> I think he was barging in. He, yeah. He's trying to watch and get po- and get pointers, and I'm like, I'm not teaching you. <laughs> no, you simply grounded him because he did a no-no. He walked into your bedroom while you were porking his mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jesus, bad. But uh, <laughs> and I pork her while eating a slice of fired pizza. Oh, oh <laughs> that's a new commercial <laughs> with cream cheese. Hey, you remember? You remember our first commercial? Mm. I'll tell you why I farted. Because, I, <laughs> okay, so like, oh man, after a hard day's work of working Justin's mom, I just love to sit down and have a nice slice oh, of fired pizza. I'm down if your mom's down, Justin. She doesn't have to be there. She was hot already. Yeah, so, so by the way, yeah, Chris, you don't get a choice. So, <laughs> speaking of the business owner. Hey, so. I just provide the pizza, man. <laughs> that, that's that's me. Is that the new catch? Oh, you know what? Chris can, I just provide the pizza. Chris can deliver the pizza, too. You'd be like, oh, one of those in movies. In the commercial, I heard someone ordered an extra large sausage. Hey, but I, I don't have any money. Over. <laughs> Would you like some? Like, what's this horse can doing? <laughs> <laughs> 
Chris, did you ever look up one man, one jar? <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did not. Ooh, You're missing out, man. Can we do a live on the, uh, on the line reaction uh, to one man, one jar? Yes, I, please. I mean, I don't really want to see that. <laughs> you don't know what it's about, though. It yes. might be really good. I have might. an idea. What is I have an idea. You got to be open I mean, to stuff, I, I Chris. Mean, I it's akin to two girls, one cup. Uh, no, this is no poopy. I think this is. <laughs> I think this is kind of worse. So have you all seen it? <laughs> I think you all seen worse. this. That is not a very. Good I have not seen this. Okay, Justin, well, <laughs> Justin, have you seen it? No. <laughs> so Todd and Brendan are the only weirdos. I don't in this. know. Yeah, yeah I don't know how. Like, how did you grow up and not see not one man, one jar? Not see any like all the because, yeah, like, because two girls, one cup scared me away from that. Yeah, I understand scared. that. I like Charlie the Unicorn. <laughs> What's wrong with Charlie the Unicorn? There's nothing wrong with Charlie but the I don't Unicorn. I invented a, a drinking game out of that video. <laughs> I don't even think two girls, one cup is real. I don't you know, think that, that, I don't think that's, that's fake. I'm pretty either. sure one man, one it, jar. It really if it's not real, real it looks Well, no, real. I mean, I think they, like, inseminated I mean, themselves with, like, I mean, pudding or something. That, I mean, is, that is not chocolate pudding. You see close up, that is shit from a butt. <laughs> from a what? A butt. <laughs> oh. You know what, man? I've seen I've seen people draw pictures that look like real photos. And you know? I've I'm seen just saying. I've seen real um shit come out of an ass. <laughs> I bet he I bet he has. It like probably, someone else's or your own. I mean uh, well it depends which one you want it to be. <laughs> do you know what, I don't want it to be either, I have seen I mean, people you know what I've, do you know what a four dollar meal deal is? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, um, Kind of. <laughs> I'm curious. Are you curious? Yeah. Keith, you want to start this off? I'll, I'll join in. So basically, the man gets on all fours. Yep. Oh. Bends his dick backwards. Yeah. <laughs> is his Ow. name Wendy? And then the woman. I already can't reach. Thrusts. It. Yeah, I can't do it either. I'm, it takes a special Back man out. to do it. <laughs> Let the master. But finish. but you, you put it, you tuck it behind you. Yes. So it's, it's out that way. And then the woman <laughs> thrusts you from behind. It thrusts. So she, it's like butt to butt kind yeah. of thing. No, not butt. No, no, it's like she's but she's I mean, she's okay. you and you're God. her. I mean, like, but you're still. Uh, you got to be. You got to be packing. Yeah, I I, I, I couldn't try it. Okay, so check like, this you out. You need a foot and a half. Check to make this that out. Happen. So, <clears throat> dudes and doggy, right? Tucked <laughs> in anus, woman behind clapping. <laughs> she's yeah. not feeling anything. But he, so hold on. Thru- oh, you let me finish. All right. She, <laughs> that's what that's what the video is about. She <laughs> thrusts pretending to have that. Right. But really, man is satisfying let himself with his own. So I don't. Th- th- so that so y- your dick doesn't <laughs> wow. go in your own ass. Oh, no, no. That's what it I It goes in there, but she's now, dominating. Now he's disappointed Wait, from like, the oh. back. <laughs> Oh, Damn. no, this is wrong. I've been doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit. yes. laughs> You've been doing it wrong. So, yeah, she's just behind you, and and then, yeah, she's thrusting you. You're not. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Sounds like karma sutures. Not sutures. sutures. Not sutures. 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 You might need sutures. It might. You got to get stitches, too. <laughs> you might after it's done. I don't know. Yeah. It's uh, how much. $4 meal deal. You want to move it up to six ninety nine? dollars Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> But no, don't even get me started with a gobbly gook. That's a Thanksgiving <laughs> special. You can, he's oh, he's got a lot of specials over there. If you guys want to try any smoothies or if you only nacho salad, it yeah. will only be a gobbly gook if you do it the day of Thanksgiving. You do it the day before or after. It's not gobbly gook. It's something completely different. What is it? It's not a gobbly gook. It's just something. <laughs> I just don't know, I don't know that I want to know where the cranberry sauce is involved in this one. Ooh, you are in for a treat, oh, my friend, God. Mr. Yeah. Ant, uh, Chris Fired. I will tell you Chris exactly. <laughs> That's his last name. <laughs> It is. It is. Father, you know. You know. Hi, I'm Todd Deep Space Studios. <laughs> <laughs> Fired. Let's wait for Justin's. Yeah. I'm Justin Seven Things. As Brennan That was his it. nickname in high school too. Just <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh God. Anyway. <laughs> Hey, what were you, yeah? What were we talking about? <coughs> I shit. I think. Uh, uh, well, we were talking about uh, sex Chris, moves. Chris needs to see one man, one jar, <laughs> <laughs> preferably in the bus before he heads home. So that way, when he steps into the, his house, his wife can be like, "What's wrong?" <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> I'm already traumatized without seeing any of it. It's rough. <laughs> yeah. Especially once it you see. It sounds awful. Wait, I want you to see the blood. Maybe. Yeah. Ne- maybe next. There's, oh, wait, wait. There's don't, blood. Don't tease it. It's that's. It's not a tease. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a tease if he wants to view it. I don't think he wants to view it. <laughs> Telling him what's in it. I'm You're good, man. No, he, no. Next week, y'all will do a uh, on the line reaction. I don't think we will. New, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm in. Show the video. Don't show the video. Just to them. Get this. Oh, we'll reaction. put it up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eric was having a repeat. Point the camera the other way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Um, That's a good idea. Yeah. Well, Brennan, you got anything else you, that you didn't make on your list there? Oh, plenty, but we got to. 
juicy into it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, we'll we'll have you back for sure. <laughs> Please, uh, I'm not the first guest to do it. Uh, have you guys offer that? No, we do that to everybody. Um, no, but I really like the fact that you have a list because like. I can't function this way. I have to live my life life in like organized chaos. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Same. But yeah, the fact that like I think it's neat that people can actually like do this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I tried to do this and it didn't work out. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> there's something that I wanted to talk to as opposed to, oh, get you know, riddle me this. It's towards Justin. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> no, it's just I was gonna <clears throat> dog on you, but you're not talking about it like you normally do. It's your love for <coughs> mainstream music. Oh, and yes. Please do that. Just radio. Please. First off, congratulations. You're Here. one of, like, the three fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the three people left in the fucking world that still listen to radio. So congratulations <laughs> to you. <laughs> and secondly, I'm glad that you love the greatest hits in the world, like Falling in Reverse. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the new stuff from Avenged Sevenfold, which... <laughs> Should have never came like three albums ago <laughs> and fucking what else, man? Should have never came. New band name. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, dips on the band name. Yeah. Oh, damn it. That's yeah. Todd's line. Yeah, too bad. It's mine I now. I didn't want the band name. Hey, oh, consider, just, me, you consider know, me copyright. your biggest fan because I have watched, listened to every episode. You're not the only one. Hey, I'm not talking to you, am I? <laughs> I know the references. I know the context. I know the, <laughs> the, the, the dibs on the band name. I know the whole shebang. And I... I rule it all down. And we're Brandon, still, we're still I think Brandon beats you on the biggest one. fan. Yeah, but uh, but no, I was going to talk about that. And what else am I going to talk about? Ooh, one thing as far as the music I've been listening to, I listen to soundtracks as well. I love soundtracks because I'm a composer myself. Okay, what's on your list? Uh, the Quake Two soundtrack. Yes. I don't know. Okay. I know Wait, so someone said Quake Three, I think. Well, Quake was written by, or that soundtrack was by Trent. Resner. No, that was the first Quake yeah, soundtrack. Yeah, first Quake. The second one was made by <coughs> Sonic Mayhem or White Zombie. Um, the third one was also composed by Trent Reznor. Uh, fourth one was made by Trent Reznor's old drummer between 89 mm. and 2001. His name's Chris Verena. Hell of a guy. Uh, I've been listening to those and the Deus Ex soundtrack because it's my favorite game and I love it. And I've been playing it since 2000. Are you a fan of Mick Gordon? Uh, Mick Gordon, yes. I even asked him to send me a version of a song I was wanting to do a cover of without the drum track, so you know I can record my own right. drums. And he said, "No." Dang. Yeah. So I. Hey, he's Australian too, so that's international. He, is. he looks yeah. American. He, he looks does. like he talks with an, an accent like yours or mine. Yeah. But he's really an Australian boy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what else is on my list here? Uh, John Williams, Alan Silvestri. That, any of none those? of that is on my list. I don't know where your head is at. <laughs> I, I'm just seeing Did if you you're read uh, my list. No. Um, I've been trying to sneak. Yeah, no one can read you that. Sneaky, you sneaky. I've been trying don't to. Don't you dare sneaky, well, Mr. Well, luckily for you, I have a hard time reading upside down, so I'm like, I'm not even. Hey, like you can do anything you set your mind to. Skew, brother, the Adam Slayer. Anyway, <laughs> the right. fuck is anyway. That? We found On it. the way here, I wanted to say something. Holy shit, this neighborhood is so beautiful. There are so yep. many pretty freaking houses. The best neighborhood yeah. in St. Francis County. Mm -hmm. I passed two houses in particular. One was like a cube house that had like was wrapped in rooms. Yep. I counted at least 10 to 12 bedrooms. I've been in that house, too. You've been in the house? Pest control. I'm, of course glad, he has. Hey, I'm glad we're That's back from commercial. One of the 10 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. Second one was like a house on a, um, a pond, and it was like a very long house. And I passed this house on the way here, and it's just this big collage of houses with big uh, best neighborhood in St. Francis County by far. Agreed. And I needed to say that. And if you're in this area, uh, I don't know what street this is on. What's Hillsborough Road. Hillsborough. Hillsborough. Hillsborough Road in Farmington. Oh my God. If you Are you not from here? No, I'm, uh, well, I grew up in, I was born in St. Charles and I moved okay. to Bonterre in 05. I'm sorry. Bonterre is awful. It's not terrible. You can make the best of anything. It was in a pretty good area. I, in uh, it was, you're not in East Bonterre. No, I I lived out in the sticks. Like on yeah, the, he did. Yeah, but it is very quiet, split. secluded, and but anyway, um, let's Todd's got to get out of here. Todd, why, man? Uh, kid, gotta pick up my kid. Bring him here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I, I I've had to before. Yeah, and it worked, didn't and it? And then I just so, no, it it's semi worked. Semi worked. Hey, semi. I went right over semi. there. Last semi's time. better than not. 
Uh, sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. That's okay. Chris is apparently leaving, too. Chris no. fired. Chris fired. He's got, he's he's got to right pee. Back. He's got to go? Okay, okay. All right. Everybody he, can give he's me been, right now. He's been looking kind of rough. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah. I farted earlier, so I feel a lot better now. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Was, hey, I'm glad you're on the other side of this table. Man. Well, it was actually before, and then actually, uh, I farted like by myself over here, and then that's when like Justin decided, like, I'm going to come over here. Oh, I'm going to come. Oh, <laughs> my God. He's got to move closer to me. Well, this was... <laughs> earlier he's like oh i get to move closer to brendan well, so you can turn in return and say oh i get to pork your mom again it's like he's just like that smells like todd's dna so he started kind of moseying over to me and i'm yeah. like yeah i'm like and everyone likes their own brand I'm like every i like my own brand you know i don't know about no it. Oh, yeah <laughs> no yeah like i don't believe like if even you fart you're just like you buy yourself no like, things yeah. die in my ass <laughs> i'm sure oh. they do well, they're probably sure they gerbils do. <laughs> but all right guys i'm gonna go get my kiddo all right toddy toddy and it was Great to meet you, dude. Was, I'm dude. so glad to be able to do this, and I hope to do yes. it again with you again, buddy. Is it, if it's cool, I'll So the rest of this later. episode is going to be, like, yeah, just like Brennan's like, face, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll write it down for you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Sweet. You got a piece of paper. Yes, I do. I'll take some. And I don't get your number. God damn. <laughs> Justin, one of these days you'll get a hint. <laughs> I'll give it to you, Justin. No, oh, Keith. please do. <laughs> please you know, do. You know which number to give him. Just pretend to be yeah. someone else, and it'll work. Yeah, it will. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I thought this was this number. <laughs> <laughs> you give him my number. I'll just start right, like. Guys. All right, bye, Todd. Um, I mean, I think we're we're pretty well wrapped up here too. Are you want to wrap up? What about you guys? There's like segments that y'all haven't done. Like what? You guys did like a best, like a draft, best yeah draft and yeah we didn't we the didn't draft we're kind of doing an ongoing week we didn't week think about one. the draft but we do have some like posted up because there's a big bracket we're doing yeah but uh hey you know what you throw out the eggs your favorite kind of eggs oh! he really likes eggs yes I do uh, yes he does anyway yeah um ooh another thing that you told me that you wanted me to talk about. I know you actually have a decent fucking idea. I know, and I'm actually going to talk about one. <laughs> this is about my time in September of 22 in Chicago when I went to go see Rammstein. Let me tell you something. First time I ever went to Chicago, first time I've ever rode the Amtrak to Chicago. Yeah. I love riding the train. Yeah. How? Trains. I hear that is fun. It's You just walk up and down the trolleys. There's everybody kind of, it's like a big social gathering in the train because you could talk to the people that you sit across. Yeah. And you may be running into people that are going to the same thing that you are or near or like, oh, I'm going to the baseball game or whatever. And a lot of people that I met on the train was actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, like I said, you can go up and down the trolleys. Each two trolleys has a bathroom. And also every end of the train, you have like a bar and snack bar and they make you meals and very cool. Some things that I feel like I'm living in the past because, you know, the it's kind of like with air with uh, airports. Like prior to nine eleven, there was no TSA, right? Right. So all you had before you went on a plane was a metal detector. You maybe had a. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Hi. Love you, Todd. See you, buddy. I so, mean, stepdad. And then before that, you you had a metal detector, and you had the metal detecting swab. And other than that, like your family could walk all the way up to the gate with you, but. And then, obviously, 9-11 happened, and all that went away, and then um, TSA was created, so now families can only go up to where TSA begins, right? Um, you would think that same level of security would translate to all other, like, public transportation systems, like buses and trains. Trains, you don't even have as little as a metal detector. Mm -hmm. You just you line up. When your train is coming, you get on. And you know what's even crazier? You can get on, the train goes, and about 15 minutes in, that's when they check to see if you have a fucking train ticket. Yeah. <laughs> so you could be on your way or just get up to go to the bathroom every time the check, the ticket check. <laughs> what are they going to do at that point? Just, like, fucking kick you out the back of the fucking train? The next stop, they kick you off. <laughs> wow. And then you get on the next one, and you make it another <laughs> I was going to say, it's still worth it. You're like, I'll be back. Nobody touched my bomb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the scary thing, right? Yeah. It's just like... People can get some crazy ideas. I mean, where are you going to go with a train and just go straight forward and backwards? You can't change it off course. And but, right, you can, but it won't end well. In a security, like perspective, that's kind of in 2023. That's sketch. Like, there's not even a Fucking metal wild. detector. I could go up there with a gun, man. Shh. Anyway, <laughs> shush, man. I'm the guest. Yeah, you're the guest. Anyway, Tell but the Rammstein show was amazing. Did uh, you get pizza while you were out there? 
I like that. Concept. You're so you mean that, that casserole they serve? In, I love it. Uh, oh, man, I love it. It's not fired. No, it's but not, like, right. it's not. but hey, if you, <laughs> it, until you open a truck in Chicago, you know, that's what I'm going to get. Don't. Dude, I won't open a truck cool. in Chicago because the traffic sucks. So traffic bad. Oh, yeah, for sure. Drivers but I'm just terrible. saying, drivers like. Drivers in Chicago are completely unhinged. Um, but, yeah. but you don't. I witnessed a, uh, after the Rammstein show, I witnessed a carjacking 50 meters from me. Yeah. Well, 50 meters. That sounds on yeah. brand for 50 Chicago. meters. I just love to use meters. That's 150 feet. I, I, I got that. It was just. <laughs> I didn't know the math. I'm not going to act like I did, but like, I just thought it was weird that you used meters. 150.3 feet to be exact. Oh, okay. okay. But Chris, you don't, you, don't, know, but, uh, okay. you don't care for Chicago pizza at all? No, not really. Because it's a casserole. Yeah, so I, I mean, love all the sauce, and it's just like. Yeah, no, that's great. Like, so, it's not a well, traditional pizza. So, like, I like some deep dish pizza, like <clears throat> Detroit style. Yeah, yeah, but I like Detroit, but not Chicago. Detroit's almost like a focaccia mm-hmm. with the uh, with the cheese on bottom, sauce on. Well, they do well, like that's types what... of sauce, mm. but you get that caramelization around the edges, of the cheese crown. Ooh, yeah. And if it's done right, it's it's like light and airy, and it's nice to bite into. But if it's not, it's dense as fuck. And it's Little like Caesars little is not a good. No, no, is little, not a good so, example. Of they, but little, the but the Chicago cheese. where they got the, like the layer cheese, then the topping, some toppings, so, and the cheese, and then all the sauce, right. and then some more cheese. It's what just, I think is cool about Chicago is they put like this disc of sausage over the entire pizza. What? So mm. like like it's crust. Like if they if you get a sausage one, they yeah. they do like crust, and then I don't know if they do cheese first. But it's basically a plate of sausage. It's like a disc. Oh, like the, it, more or less the same diameter. Yeah, of the, the pizza. same diameter, but the you know without wow. the outside. And then they do like the cheese and then the sauce on top. And, and usually it's a it's a pretty robust cooked sauce. And, and it's got good elements to it. But overall, as a pizza, I don't call that a pizza. No, it's more like a casserole. It's more or yeah, less kind of like an aesthetic thing. Like, oh, it's pizza from Chicago. They well, hear Chicago. No, it's like it's like oh, it's, well, it's just eating different. And I get that. But well, they do have green olives. They eat like, it. They do. Green but but their their crust is also made out of cornmeal. Mm-hmm. So, I, like, so I don't know the difference in so that. So you but. don't. I don't even know if they use yeast or not. And usually, you know, with they, pizza, it's a yeasted dough. They do. Do they? Yeah. But it's like so. It's like a cornmeal crust, and that mm-hmm. to me, that's not. You know, if it's thick crust, I would imagine they need to use yeast because how else is going to rise? Right. Well, they, I don't know that. Do it, I don't yeast. know that it necessarily has to rise that much. I don't it, think it. They it use yeast. Really? I guess if you just you're 100 percent on that. It, I'm or, yeah. Make it so like 90 percent. So for the for the listeners who don't know. Deep dish is not true Chicago pizza. If you go, that's that's yeah. like the tourist thing. Lou Malnati's, Giordano's, they do that, and they're famous for. It. And they made they made Chicago famous for that kind of pizza. But real Chicago pizza is tavern style. That's a thin crust Spin, pizza. Right, thin, yeah. Thin mm. kind of like Domino's, um, thin crust. You know? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's square cut. Thin and crispy. Thin and crispy. Yeah. Okay. Um, but but tavern style bar pie, which you know, that's that's what a, a Chicagoan will tell you is real Chicago pizza. I heard you was oh, at the Raging Rooster recently. I was at the Raging Rooster yesterday. I talked to the owner today. Yeah. I'm gonna go over there. Yeah, he messaged me. He said he's like, "Hey, I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that was you there. You know, uh, you know, Weird didn't say hi or whatever." Yeah, but yeah, I thought I was talking about my my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got into Chicago pizza, and then it went to. How did it go to the Raging Rooster? Yeah, Justin said. I know, you were at the Raging Rooster. but I meant like, like, oh, just process your brain. One, there's one thing that I've taken note of during this podcast and all the episodes that I've listened to is that we can't stay on a topic for yeah, two that's true. minutes. We yeah, that's true. We all have ADHD is the problem. ADHD, yeah. bipolar, and oh, before I continue my story, I notice all the liquid deaths. I've heard so much about that water. Is there a place where I can get me a liquid death and try it out? The gas stations. No, here. Is there one in that fridge? We actually what do fridge? not have any Down. open or empty what? or open at the Behind moment. Behind you on the other side of the lockers, there's one. Uh, there's a fridge, but I don't know if it's got it. it, it no, it's not stocked right now. I think we're, we're out. actually out. But, yeah. but hey, I, this is these bad. are for uh, advertising. But hey, purposes. you know what you could do? Liquid Death, you need to sponsor us so that we have more. In three weeks, we'll have cases of fired water here. Fired water? Fire. That's our branded water. It's, uh, do you fire it? No. Aww. It's uh, no, so it's uh, it's artesian spring water. Uh, Larue out of Potosi makes it. And, makes uh, water. They make water. No, they 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 bottle it, oh. and it's got our logo on it and everything. So like we'll uh, we'll be stocking <laughs> the uh, the barn studio with uh, our water. We're gonna have to. And uh, yeah. you could go to Doobie dot com. Doobie. Is it not, is it Doobie or Dubby? I don't it's know. Dubby. Dubby dot com. U b b y. Dubby dot com, and enter the promo code Pop Punk AF. And you can get um, no jittered um, energy. 
Yes. No and crash and no jitters. What is it like? What is it? A it's liquid? A so you mix it's into a liquid. an energy drink, but it's powder based. So it's kind of like Kool Aid, but um, it, it's like more nutrition energy focused. Is it nutrition or is it just like an energy drink? It's just it's energy. energy. Oh, okay. It's it's fo- it's focused energy. It has nutrients. nutrients. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool beans. Wow. And I've had it, and it is. It's geared towards gamers, right? Yes. Yeah. And it. Um, it's very much like Kool Aid, but I, I think it's a little bit better than Kool Aid, honestly. Oh yeah. So I gotta try that. What's it called? Doobie. Dubby. 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 Okay, Dubby. Use our promo code. Yeah. Pop Punk AF. Yes, okay. sir. I'll think about it. Oh, please do. No, oh, no, I'll think about it. I didn't say I'm down. I'm locking the deal. I'm I, saying I, if I'm you if you do it. it, you have to use our promo code. Oh, I will if I. That's what I meant by do it. I, yeah, I'll use. Just the do it. Good. Anyway, I'm gonna continue my story. Oh my God, it's not over. No, because you guys cut in with 10 minutes of fucking monologue. I did realize <laughs> it was did that fine. I love talking about pizza with you, man. Seriously. That's what we cut across you, with. I'm still talking. And you but I'm just saying. <laughs> so Brandon has a, a God complex. <laughs> oh, boy. God complex. Let me talk. To- Anyway, Thank back you. on track. You love talking pizza with me. Oh, my God. I love talking pizza with you, and I love the pizza that you made. The two slices, well, the three, because I ate two of the cream cheese one. Dude, you have something here. And I, how long have you been doing this? Uh, about three. Well, I, I've been doing it professionally for two and a half years. Wow. Well, I would have I would have guessed that you've been doing it for a hot minute longer, man, because that was some damn good pizza. And the ideas that y'all have with the cream cheese and the pizza, like, again, prior to tonight, I had no idea that that was a thing. Yeah. But then, again, I know you could put anything in pizza. So sure. that went with it well more than what I ever would have thought it would. So I think I, that when I make my own homemade pizza, I'm going to have to give that a try because yeah. Chris Fired recommended me to <laughs> Chris it. Fired. Chris, Chris Fired. H. Henry Fired the Fourth Jr. <laughs> Perfect. That is my legal name. Yep. I, and I will forget it. That's okay. I can't even recite it. But I'm going to continue <laughs> my story now. So Rammstein was cool. Uh, has anybody here been to Chicago? Yes. Yeah. Have you been to Soldier Field? Yeah. yeah. Actually, I saw Coldplay. Don't remember. Who, who said nowhere? Yes. Justin said no. I've been there, but I haven't been to... Soldier Field. Yes. Okay. I saw Coldplay at Soldier Field. Soldier Field, yes. Uh, I don't think I've been to Soldier Field. Soldier Field is the biggest freaking... It's neat. ...arena or stadium? Stadium, yeah. Coliseum? Oh, then no, I've not been It's a stadium. There. It's where the Bears play. Dude, uh, you just... You get in there, and the moment you walk into it, you just... You're just... There's no one flat surface. You're just turning all around, and you just see seats and seats and... Anyway, big place. Uh, Rammstein ha- is notorious for their production, for their stage, their pyrotechnics. Um, they have pyrotechnics. They have flames that are behind you, beside you, in front of you. You feel heat no matter where you are. And to put it in perspective, they um, their stage setup takes four days to do, another two to break down. Jesus. And they have two days in between shows. So they have two copies of mm. their stage. So halfway through setting up the other one, the next show stage begins. Wow. So And there's two days in between each show. <laughs> and um, it's a lot of work for those workers. Yeah, they uh, hire, I think it was 600 of their own staff that travel with them. Plus another two or three hundred of each venue's local staff. Damn. Yeah. So, um, and pit ticket price, hundred and ten dollars. You think it'd be more? Yeah. It should, but they are not greedy with their ticket prices. Um, uh, I feel like they, obviously, with a price like that, I feel like they're in charge of their. They want their ticket price to be lower because I know when you go to a lot of mainstream artist shows. Even a nosebleed ticket can be more than 110. Right. But are they selling out like Soldier's Field? Field? What? Are they selling out <clears throat> Soldier's, Soldier's Field? Um, I don't know if they sold out that particular show, but I want to. I think it was like 80 or 90 percent of their tour, their North American tour, was sold out. Yeah, so they can. It makes sense. They, you know what I mean. They're making much more, so yeah. they can. They don't need to do thousand dollar pit tickets like a lot of mainstream artists do, and. Uh, but then you have artists that come in every now and then, like Kid Rock, who will do tours that, you know, tickets are, ticket prices are what he says it is. And he cuts mm-hmm. the beer costs, right. that, stuff like that. Absolutely. Yeah. He knows what it's, he knows how to really cater to people who can't really afford those, th- those tickets. But anyway, the Rammstein show was great. 
Uh, they played for an hour and a half or two hours. And uh, yeah, after the show, my phone died uh, right after I ordered an Uber. <laughs> oh, shit. So I didn't know where he was going to be. I didn't know when he got there. So I had to like just. He's just going to he's and he was driving 40 minutes from where he was at when I ordered the Uber. He's probably just a block over. Probably. I mean, like, that shit is crazy. Yeah. You know something crazy? My hotel was in Chicago, and so was the venue. I drove an hour to the venue. I believe the hotel. it. So, I got an Uber in Chicago. Hold on. Let me tell this real quick. Yeah, yeah, I got no. an Uber in Chicago. That the guy literally asked me if he could drive over a median. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's not okay. <laughs> I was, like, about to get out of the car. And then so he goes, and there's these people on this cro- crosswalk, and he stops and lets them through. And they don't, like, say thank you or anything. And he starts cussing them out. <laughs> this, dude, this dude was unhinged. He's like, well, he what I, look what I fucking crazy. did for you. You're lucky yeah. I didn't run over y'all through, you motherfucker. No, he's like, he screams, say thank you. Say that. Falls <laughs> <laughs> down the yeah. window. Oh, yeah. He just... I'm like, this guy's going to get a shot. Luckily, I mean, it was like a normal family. You know, they had kids and strollers and shit like that. But I was terrified. I was terrified of my Uber driver. Like, I did get another Uber driver uh, back to my hotel, but that was because I was obviously walking around looking for what I thought was the license plate. I was trying to remember what the license plate said or what the car looked like before my phone died. And then as I was walking, another driver who was independent, he didn't... He was like an independent taxi. So what he did is when you told him where you were going, he would search up on Uber what they would charge. And he would do like mm. either a close price or a markup. On That's top of fucking it. smart. Yeah, they're really smart. And I got in with him and probably paid more than what I really wanted. But, um, but he drove probably just as bad as your. Oh yeah, they, driver, they're dude. crazy. I, I was holding <clears throat> on to the everything, man. And it was, and I was like, God, I still got forty more minutes of fucking this driving where he's <laughs> passing drivers with God. Damn near got, bumper to bumper. It was like the longest 27 minutes of my life. Oh, it was fucking awful. Oh, God, it's terrible, man. Yeah. So luckily, we only had to go like like four blocks. So so we got, when West, Tiffany and I went to Chicago, it was like right after the Cubs won the World Series, we're seeing Yellow Card supposed to be last tour. Mm-hmm. And uh, it took us like almost two hours to get into the city, like from when we could see it. And, uh, and we just parked because uh, the parade had just ended and shit. So we just parked at the hotel. Um, and then we Ubered over, or no, we, we took a taxi over there. Dude was fucking just swirling around. I think I was flopped back and forth in the, in the back seat. It was crazy, but uh, it didn't take very long. And then luckily we, we were able to find a taxi back because it was cold. Um, but, yeah, we just found one. And they were crazy, but it was only like a like a 10-minute drive. I can't imagine you're 40 or yeah. Whatever with oh that shit. God. Every minute. But they, like but they've got to be fast because that's how they make their money. You know, they got to get on the next one. Yeah. And, I get and that. Shit, jumping but medians and, and just, just, <laughs> like, that's like, wild. Hey, at least he asked. I mean, well, I'm just like, I'm like, well, he he asked me like if it was legal to do so. He was. Oh yeah. From, oh, he didn't he just wasn't from the U.S. Like, <laughs> I thought he just asked your like, opinion if you were okay my, with it. Neither was my driver. Yeah. I'm thinking not any of them are. No, they probably aren't. But like, he had to pass a driving test. I. Maybe I don't, I don't think me. I don't think jumping the medium was on the on the exam. So. <laughs> so either you know what it's, it doesn't say you can't do it. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know anywhere that says you can't loopholes. <laughs> yeah, dude, it Man. was. They just let anybody drive for Uber. They do. Yeah. Oh, shit. Let's just do a fucking dummy draft just for Brendan. I know, it, it's dummy. It's not the real thing. What's a dummy? You said that. Now it's not genuine. I'm yeah, not it's not even anymore. genuine anymore. Cool. Cool. Justin. <laughs> I don't know if I have a favorite dummy. <laughs> Me? What's your no. favorite carbonated oh. water? Except favorite. Oh, it's mm. got to be liquid death. It's got to be liquid death. Got to yeah. be liquid death. The regular kind, though. I don't like the uh, the black uh, the black canned. There's oh. different types. They're of all liquid. great. Oh yeah, yeah. This one is <laughs> one I had last week. It's what the, uh, the world the sparkling the uh, oh my the watermelon. God, it's just fucking water, dude. Was it eight dollars a goddamn can? No, it's, it's actually at an affordable price, yeah. and uh, it's very worth it. Those are Riverport prices, man. No, they're very worth it, and they're very great. And they do a lot of recycling, apparently. What, what the hell's? Why are you winking at me? Are you so? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, God, I'm trying to get you in the bed. I understand, but I'm not the one that you should <laughs> think about porking. You should worry about your mom getting porked by Todd. 
I know that's where <laughs> he's he secretly going right now. Yeah, no shit. What'd so, you say, Justin? I'm sorry, I was listening to sorry, something. Sorry, I was talking over him. Yeah, I, I was, said, I know that's where he's secretly going right now. It's Soon we'll hear the... <laughs> <laughs> What he sound is that? It's the sound of distant porking. <laughs> <laughs> of sexual fun. Well, Brendan, it was great to have you today. I was so... I've been looking forward to this for two weeks, dude. Seriously. I'm this, so glad to be on, and I'm so glad to have made your night, especially Chris. Yes. Especially 20 oh, seconds, dude, my, this has 20 been the seconds best. into the podcast. You're always like, yeah. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to put smiles <laughs> on people's face. What does that even mean? <laughs> Oh, this was the most fun podcast for me. It really was. Thank you very much. I'm just, Justin, what do you think? <laughs> oh, wait. It was definitely the most interesting. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. For you, buddy, I'm... Dude, I was in a coffin it. fit. I was uh, laughing my ass off. I'm very glad to be here, guys. I'm glad to make y'all's nights. And um, We didn't say that. Believe it or not, I don't do comedy. I'm not a stand-up. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, that's pretty much a comedy uh, you know, notebook there. I don't want to do stand-up. Well, you can sit down. They don't make you... Oh, you're right. I can stool, stool comedy. But yep. no, I want to make a shout out to my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, baby. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But no, it was fun. I want to do this again. I know you tell all your guests this, but when you told me that, oh, I want Brendan on again, I thought I was, be- I was, I was feeling very special. Like, wow, I came prepared. You are very special. So I booked you twice. Oh, my God. When? Yeah, because you bailed on the first one, remember? Yeah, you oh, dick. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ouch. So uh, you injured me. fucking work and I shit. You. you injured me. No, because I'm not lying. I don't give you an excuse five weeks in a row. I only did and it I once. I don't start my excuses with, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. You just got transported back to group chats. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, we love excuse? you. He was making pizza? So he, yeah, what was he, he was going in to work early so he could get off early to be on here. And then Fredericktown didn't have power that day. Yeah. So he couldn't get started work until later. So then he ended up working past seven even. So I'm just saying, I can make work? pizza in the dark. And it I don't, he doesn't make it. Where does he work? Uh, the Hunts Brothers. Oh, he's not in Centene anymore? No. <laughs> Is that where you're at? Yeah. Okay, that's what I said. I, th- I was thinking he said he saw you there one day, but um, did you get hired on? During oh, COVID? my mom's at Centene. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> she works in the porking department. <laughs> <laughs> so no, uh, say, Chris? Say, Chris? I just asked if you got hired on during COVID. Um, depending what years, I think COVID was like twenty to twenty-two. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean it's still no, going it's on. Technically, so it, no, it's not a thing anymore. Yeah, it is. Everybody is awake now. Everybody's alert. I'm going to get woke. political. I'm not even drunk. I'm going get, to get political right now. And the COVID is a vaccine, but it's fake. And they put 5G in you, and I'll tell you what else they do. The government is lying about everything that has to do with the pandemic. We're going to have Andrew on next week and oh just be God. the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Vaccines yeah. work, and especially the the trial once. Yeah, he's a very um, political he's a, guy. He's a smart guy. <laughs> Brennan, Brennan's about to explain. But anyway, it, it was fun. We'll do it again There's for so sure. There's so much you're holding back right now. I can yeah. We'll do it again for sure. Yeah, I, I had fun. I haven't seen you in like eight years. A long time. Well, despite getting shit on, it, it was good having you, man. Justin, it was great to see you again, dude. I am uh, looking forward, <laughs> am I, to seeing what you're actually doing with the music and your I 20 I feel projects. like that's not genuine, but I will take it. It is, believe it or not. You're just used to me. <laughs> not being genuine. It's good seeing you too, buddy. Absolutely, and hopefully, um... <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not. But okay. nothing, nothing is. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, uh, this was cool. Yeah. Um, please have me on again because I genuinely enjoyed this. So thank oh, you, yeah. gentlemen. Yes, absolutely. For sure. It was a great time. And that was another. Are you gonna mock me during this? No. Okay, that was, that was another right. episode of the <laughs> Pizza Party <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by www. Betterhelp.com slash The Barn, Fired, Deep Space Studios, and W Energy. Go on W's website and use our promo code POPPUNKAF and uh, get you 10% off of your first purchase. And we'll see you next week. Thank you, Internet!